Hello YouTube! Welcome to Pokemon Dungeons and Dragons. Our game takes place in the scenic and wild Laris region, home to some of the world's fiercest professional battlers, as well as some of the most caring trainers. Whether it be for fun, sport or fame, battles are abundant here in the Laris region, and the League Challenge is available to anyone brave enough to battle all eight Pokemon gyms in the region. Let's meet our players and heroes. Tia, playing as Phoebe Wilhelm with her Sweenub Nubster and Centret William. Joel, playing as Milo Rooter with his Murkrow Monty, Ladybug Violet, and his Houndor Howl. Jordan, playing as CJ with his Totodile Crash, his Mankey Bang, and his Houndor Growl. And Ben, playing as Bentley Woods with his Magby Mortar, and his Yanma Evanrude. With Baron Badges in hand, our heroes are reunited and eager to explore Alluvia once more.
with our badges. Standing in Alluvia with your newfound Freaky. badges. Freaky. Yeah. yeah. Pokemon? Yeah. I'm excited so, to blow all my money. I feel like I feel like if there's any time for us to split up and be safe doing so, it'd be now. Yeah. Like if we all wanna go and do our own separate shopping sprees and see what's around I without mean, having to all go as a group. I don't really care. I'm down to go with you guys. Yeah. Because I'm not I, like more than anything I wanna get like at least one more Pokeball. But yeah. I need any Other Pokeballs that, I and don't... I need to give you guys back your Pokeballs that you've lent me, so <laughs> I don't know when That's I true. see it. Uh, the water under the bridge. I, I, get, I got two hundred dollars. <laughs> um, so would we head to the business district yeah. to do some shopping? More than likely. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the business district. Painting ourselves Can't with our that money. Way. We also need to get badge cases. Yeah. I was thinking badge cases. Um, Explain Pokeballs. to me why a badge case is necessary. So you, don't, the best. so you don't lose it. I could just put it in my backpack. You can. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. People are going to take it? Maybe. Is that a thing? Well, I mean, you would if you wanted to challenge the league, you'd have to present all eight to them. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I mean, mommy. <laughs> it, it's kind of like holding an ID, essentially. Like, So does a badge case hold all of them? Yes. Okay. It's not like one per yeah, badge. Right. It's yeah. one that holds all of them. I was like, this just sounds like a Pokemon money-making scheme. <laughs> eight different I mean, little it kind of is. <laughs> It's like Apple with their dongles. <laughs> what the hell? No, it just keeps all eight in a row. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry to interrupt. I you're just good. Was like, no, you're fine. Just saying this. Why is this important? <laughs> the badge cases. Oh, and then also, I wanted to see if we could find like Pokemon food or like vitamins, maybe, because hmm. I want to reward uh, Mortar and Evan Rude for beating the gym. Is there a groomer? <laughs> Probably. Get him little massages. You should get him like a like a a curry brush. A what? The little like rubber curry brush with the little rubber spikes. He's oh, for Nubster? Work yeah. home with him. <laughs> curry brush. I reward my dudes with sweet high fives. That's what <laughs> that you get. hurt you as a person. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we in? Yeah, are we in the go. business district yet? I will say you guys have arrived at the edge of the business district, discussing which kind of brush is best for Nubster. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll a perception check to see if there's any like place that would sell. Um, Anything? No, it would sell like <laughs> food and or Pokemon food and or vitamins, and I roll a sixteen. <clears throat> see a you see a one stop nutrition. No, you just see. A, <laughs> we're, we're not sponsored unless you want to. <laughs> unless you want. Then to. it could be a one stop. Always get a door open. Bro, bro, <laughs> uh, you do see it's something. It's nice to be a, a jacked version of all our characters <laughs> on some like protein. <laughs> yeah. Powder. Fight milk. <laughs> You just have, you'd have to buy it as a commercial. I'm going to get that one. It looks like it's packed with nutrition and a great value. <laughs> <laughs> no, only nine ninety five. dollars You see the very familiar blue roof of a Pokemart. Sweet. Pokemon However, time this time one is like very shiny and glistening. It almost looks like a giant sapphire. Oh. oh, it's it's not obsidian with the gilded leaves. No. <laughs> it's slightly, slightly more different. modest. <clears throat> All right, you guys want to go in? Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah, let's go in. I want to buy some stuff. Sweet. We're just have fat stacks of cash, and then we walk in and realize the price point in this city. Or like, oh, never God. mind. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, as you guys walk Inflation's inside, out of control. you can see a number of price tags for items that should be incredibly affordable are just skyrocketed. Great. Great. Um, Nonsense. You can see Pokeballs on sale for 30 to 40 bucks a piece. Nope. On nope. sale? Nope. Not, oh. not like on sale, but like oh. they're for sale. I was like, what? For like, <laughs> is this their sale price? A potion is like 60 And the, there's just a... A nicely dressed young man behind the counter just goes, Hi folks, welcome. Welcome to the Mart. I'm gonna roll a deception check on the the person at the Mart to see if he can sell me Pokeballs for what they're actually Uh so worth. that would be um, haggling? a persuasion check. Persuasion sort of trying to haggle your <laughs> price down. Didn't even say Seventeen. Alright, yeah, as you walk in you're immediately like, This is too expensive. What do you have that's on sale? The guy behind the counter just goes, um, this is Alluvia. Everything's expensive. Do you feel like a uh, discount right. for kids? He's like, <laughs> he's like, no, but I have a comedian's discount. Uh, 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 I want to 
leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this guy. I don't either. I'd rather walk back to Oriander and buy the five dollar <laughs> Pokeballs. Yeah, no is, kidding. This we this could is, get what five of them for the cost of one I'm here. Down. That's insane. Six. What else is here Six. other than Pokeballs? Math. He's like, well, we have uh, we have potions. Uh-huh. I have uh, I have, oh I have one Premier Ball. Oh, is that one is on sale. Three hundred bucks. <laughs> Twelve dollars. Oh. Now you'll notice it's white with a little red, red stripe on there. A little different than the average Pokeball. Interesting. Worth the extra price from other cities, I'm sure. Or perhaps you would like one of the Alluvian balls. And he points to just a rack of golden Pokeballs. Oh my god. With no price tags. <laughs> anywhere near oh, so Too rich it. for our blood. Let's leave. Do Premier Balls <laughs> suck? So, uh, I think they're the same as Pokeballs. They're basically they the same as Pokeballs. Different. They, just look different, yeah. they just don't like them here. <laughs> I mean, um, if you're going to buy one here, buy that. Yeah. It's way freaking cheaper. Uh, huddled amongst ourselves, I'm just really curious how much those cost, but I know this is a, if you have to ask, you can't afford it, but mm. I still want to know. <laughs> so, just go with me on this one. Okay. I'll take one of those Alluvia balls, please. Oh, certainly. <laughs> And he grabs it and he pulls out like a little gilded leaf like bag and he just puts oh it inside God. and he goes, how many? Just one. Just one? Fantastic. I'll take you over to the register. Okay. He just walks with you. Good luck, friend. <laughs> As he gets there, he just goes, okay, one of those. Uh, it'll be $1,246 oh after tax. Oh my. <laughs> after tax? Dang. Uh, I've made a, a big mistake and I don't have that much money. Yes. I apologize. Oh, it's no worries. It happens all the time. Everyone thinks they're a little richer than they are and they go for the gold with the Pokemon. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, and you can see that. as he goes to turn, he's got three in his belt. And he's just like, oh yeah, we'll just put that back. No worries. Well, now we know. God, yeah, we just do. the snootiness of... You can't afford it. <laughs> just puts it back on, on a shelf rack. that I can't reach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody else in the Pokemon? Uh, not working. Just like random people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are, there are a few individuals that are just sort of perusing. Goodness gracious! I mean, I as a human being would like to buy a Premier Ball, but I don't. Milo wouldn't care, so yeah, I'm, I'm good. This is, I, I think we just have to say it. Does someone want to ask one of the other people in the mart if there's, like, a, a another shop for reason, shop. yeah, like, reasonably priced things? I feel like we shouldn't place. ask in here. We can ask outside. Yeah. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm going to do that. Maybe on the way out. The clerk is the just out. eyeing CJ. Not now. If we're going to hang out for a bit, <laughs> yeah. you better, better be when we're leaving okay. town. Okay, you're right. Also, William's here, so maybe we'll get one anyway. Empty's <laughs> <laughs> hat. There's forty aluminum balls. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> we're rich. <laughs> you just turn around. He's rolling. It <laughs> All right. His so. hat is just a ball pit yeah. of golden pokeballs. Let's let's leave this scam market. Yeah. yeah. As you leave, he just goes, "Have a golden day." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all just audibly groan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gross. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, that definitely uh, took some of the wind out of my sails. Yeah, in this we thought we were so rich. <laughs> I still want to see if there's a place to buy like Pokemon food and or vitamins that could maybe give them a buff in addition to being like a good job treat. So that makes sense. I want to ask if I see anything around. Probably not in the business district, but anything that's like. This is going to sound so pretentious as I word it, but anything artisanal, like like a leather Ooh. shop or like, yes. you know what I mean? Oh. Like where they're like, there's craftsmen like making custom stuff. So it, make a... Are there any crafty make boys? Make a hipster check. Make a crafty boy check. <laughs> make a history check. Seven. <laughs> Just in case. There are no Which crafty ones? Boys. Where's history? Oh, there it is. Plus five. Twelve. Ooh. Wow. Okay. You're a smart boy. So you remember from walking in and from what Deacon you know Halsey history. told you, there's very little that is created yeah. in Olivia. Okay. A yeah. lot of it is imported. That's what I figured. Went to that warehouse, remember? Yeah. Let's go to that warehouse and steal shit. <laughs> hey, Deacon. Can we take some shit for free? <laughs> Thanks, friends. 
We'll put in a good word for we'll you. Just skip a little off the we'll top, sure right? You win. I wanted to make like a letter. Yeah. <laughs> we're registered to vote in Alubia. You'd be like, oh yes, of course. <laughs> oh God. Well, I wanted to get something either like a leather thing for <clears throat> Howell's leg, oh. um, or maybe some like sweet uh, glove somethings for Violet to help her punches. Like some metal knuckles or something. Oh, oh, oh snap. By six. Christ. Beast. <laughs> He's sick. I'm going to spend all my money on brass knuckles for my. <laughs> <laughs> she dies in one hit, but she'll kill you in one hit, too. <laughs> Woo! All of her attacks are just D20s now. <laughs> all right, so is there like anything else for us to do in this city? I mean. Uh, you just walk around and look at let's, stuff? Let, let's let Bentley try to look around for food. Fair enough. But I feel like it's going to be the same thing. What role would this be? Perception. It'll be like a little Perception Caesar's ends. tub for $40. <laughs> a nine. A nine. You see a... <laughs> <laughs> slightly less ostentatious building that just says Dino's up top. Yep. Would you like to go into Dino's? Yep. Dino's for Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, so we go into Dino's. <clears throat> As you walk in, you see um, a rather poorly gentleman. He's got uh, he's Dino. bald up top, and he's got like just a little bit of hair clinging on on the sides. He's got big, thick glasses that are like hanging off the edge of his little nose, and he's wearing just a dirty apron. He's holding a cleaver, and he just goes, "Hey, kids, welcome to Dino's. What can I do for you?" Are you Dino? I am Dino. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dino Jr. <laughs> <laughs> what is the shop, Dino? Oh, I sell, uh, I sell foods. Foods? Yes. Yeah. It said Dino's Dino, but the sign fell off a few years back. Oh, I haven't okay. had the money to put it back up. Oh. Nice. I figured this was a good place to build a restaurant. I was very wrong. <laughs> uh, Dino, do you sell any Pokemon food? I certainly do. Oh. Uh, what kinds? Well, I sell lots of fish, and I sell, uh... Well, on occasion, we have milk tank steaks, uh, slightly frowned upon in the city, I understand. Uh, for those of you who have, like, some vegan options, I do have uh, an Oddish, uh, Oddish salad <laughs> oh, that is on the menu. We're all just, like, uh, <laughs> just, like, blocking Oddish. Just got a cleaver with, like, a bunch of blood on it, just, like, oh, my God. It's like, or if you're interested in something a little bit less meal- uh, we do have just some vitamin supplements as well. Those are not a very good seller here. Oh. Uh, how much would the vitamin supplements be? Honestly, if you'll take them off my hands, I will give them to you for like ten dollars. What are they? Uh, how just many? Vitamins. How many are there? Creed. Like, I've got a couple bottles of uh, some taurine. <laughs> <laughs> if you want that? I don't know what that taurine is. and gold <laughs> weed. What the fuck? Milk thistle. <laughs> you don't know what that's gonna do to your Pokemon, Bentley. I, I don't, don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Bentley just pours it down more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good luck, buddy. It's like it is a uh, it is a workout supplement that I uh, used to take, and as such, I have lost most of my hair, and I'm now no longer in good shape. Should give it to Nubster, so he just has a bald top. <laughs> fucking bald Nubster, that'd be weird. <laughs> Okay. That's just been through enough. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of whacks the cleaver into a cutting board and just goes, So what can I get for you, kids? <sighs> How long have you been here? I've uh, been here for like a couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah. Nice Do you know themes. about like anything else that's in this area? Uh, it what, seems... what do you want to know about? It's a very ritzy place. Yeah, I, and I'm, we're trying to find a place that's more uh, price point friendly. Kid, for the... You found it! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dino's. <laughs> There's no other... Uh, well, not to plug my competition, but there is another restaurant across the street called Ernie's. If you are looking for something a little bit less meaty for your meal, mm. uh, we check over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much for some fish? He's like, uh, how much do you want? Uh, how? Uh, Five dollars worth? Yeah, that sounds. No, eight dollars. Eight dollars worth. Eight dollars <laughs> worth of fish? Yeah. I give you a pound of fish, no problem. Cool. I'll take that. He's like, I'll get it wrapped up for you, kid. Thank and he's, you. He's like, starts cutting away at some fish. 
and you're really hoping it's just like fish. Yeah, I <laughs> really am at this point. It's not a fish. Pokemon. He's like, fish, <laughs> not a fish. It's not a Pokemon name, so I'm yes. hoping it's actually fish. And, and he kind of pokes at and goes, you do want just fish, right? I have some, like, skipjack tuna. Nope. You don't want... Nope. I have a remoraid in the back nope. if nope. you want that. Nope. nope, just fish. Okay. Just fish. Okay, you got it. I, I so. kind of want to re- re- rescue the remoraid. <laughs> well, is it dead? It might just be dead. Oh, God. <laughs> You're right. Hanging by the tail from the roof. <laughs> just walking. Oh, no. Just perpetually horrified by the shots. <laughs> hey, Dino. Yeah. Do you have any Pokemon? No. I figured. No, I don't <laughs> have any Pokemon. How'd you get into you this You gotta business? be pretty detached. Oh, I got the real hungry one day. I was desperate out in the wild. And I discovered that milk tank is actually a very good meal. Were you just, like, banished from your town? Why were you in the no, wild? No, I was, uh, I used to travel the world, much like you kids, when I was, uh, youthful and full of energy. I am no longer. And full of hair. I mean, you still think of that. Ah, hair. this guy gets it. <laughs> Dino didn't, didn't dislike that. <laughs> He's fun. He's a terrifying man. He's fun. <laughs> He's like, but yeah, if you're hungry, check out Ernie's across the street. Okay. If you're looking to purchase things, avoid that Pokemon. That place is a scam. I agree. It sounded like it. We figured as much. Thank you, Dino. Really Thanks. appreciate all have of your horror stories and for the fish. Dino, I have one last question for you sure. before we leave. <clears throat> if you we're still in those adventuring days and you didn't have your restaurant, where would you head from here? Oh, from here? If I was, uh... Let's see, are you kids on the gym challenge? Yeah. Are you doing that that whole circuit? I want the Dino perspective. Uh, you could go to Wadalanga if you want to. You could go up to Xanta. Uh, Route 104 is probably your safest bet. That'll get you to Xanta in about three days on foot. If you're fortunate enough to have some sort of rideable Pokemon, you could probably do it in the better part of a day. Dang, that sounds awesome. Um, what direction is that? 104. 104 is to the north. Okay. So you're going to head past the Rite of Learning Academy. You're going to walk by the Alluvia Gym. Um, and you'll probably see the Bureau of Discovery on your way out. Oh, oh, oh. Let's discover there. the Bureau. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go there. He's like, this did we hear weird. about that the last time? <laughs> this nope. kid's weird. We did not. Oh. Where did he say Route 101 goes to? Xantha? 104. 104, yeah. Xantha, yeah. yeah. <sighs> How do you get to Watalanga? Watalanga, you're going to head east. East. On Route uh, 105. Is that one a little bit more treacherous? It's about a week's journey, and it's, uh, it actually takes you through a nature preserve. So uh-huh. those of you kids who like to battle and catch Pokemon will be a little bit bored. Oh. I thought going to be the opposite. <laughs> so it's a preserve. You it, can't is, catch uh, it is a preserve. You can't catch anything. Okay, that makes sense. So we don't have the supplies to do that. Should we go to Ernie's? No, yeah, sure. See how eccentric Ernie is. So you kids come back anytime you need fish, or if you want to try milk tank. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> right. See you, Dino. Bye, kids. Bye. Bye. Have a have a fun journey. Don't lose your hair. <laughs> No promises. That's just one piece of advice. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna thing. cut a little bit of this fish off and throw it a crash. Okay. Crash just like. <laughs> spits it out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hopefully this is good fish. <laughs> he just eats it and he kind of like scowls at you a little bit and is like, I don't remember. Uh, okay. Oh. Ernie's? Yep. Sure. See how <laughs> expensive or not it is there? Alright, as you guys walk across the. Right across the street to Ernie's, you can see it looks like a little pizza parlor. It's like a little pizza symbol hung up just says Ernie's. And as you walk in, it's a very like tall and lithe gentleman. He's got his hair just like super greased back. And he just goes, Hey there, kids. Oh, God. Well, welcome <laughs> to Ernie's. Uh, can I get you something? Uh, what do you got? Are you Ernie? <laughs> yes. yes, I am Ernie. Oh. I love how that's the first question. <laughs> You Ernie? <laughs> We're in Ernie's, but I need to make sure. Yes, yes, I'm Ernie. Would uh, you like some pizza, perhaps? Is, is Can we all see you a have menu? Offer? Oh, turn. Hi. Hello. Oh, God. Would you like some pizza? What kind of pizza? Just cheese. Only cheese? <laughs> That's all you have. Why is this? I've got cheese. So we got pepperoni. Oh, hey. 
I put some don't. sausage pizza. I'm, I'm, I walk out. <laughs> I just, just like, walk weird. out. Where, where are you from? I just walked out. I'm not from here. I'm, I'm not in the room. Oh, anymore. you're local? Hey, are there other so people in this restaurant right now? No. <laughs> it's just. We a... should probably. <laughs> He's like, maybe. Milo, where'd Milo go? Secret menu? What's on the secret menu? Secret menu. You just. You just ask for it. And if I only can get it for you. Uh, oh do you God. have any uh, Pokemon food, Ernie? Like you food, Pokemon specifically food? Four, <laughs> four Pokemon? Not, not, uh... Jasper for Pokemon. Not what you're thinking. Much you, you, you got Pokeballs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got Pokeballs. Stay right there, kid. I'll be right back. This seems like a trap. <laughs> <laughs> front. He walks into the, into the back front. of the restaurant <laughs> and you hear um, some like electronic sounds. Like, beep, 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 beep. And then you hear a... <laughs> and he walks out with a big briefcase and he just goes, Oh, I got Pokeballs for you. Occupied or unoccupied. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Really? I'm outside on my inhaler. Just... <laughs> 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 uh, this guy's uh, awful. Do you, do you mean you would sell us Pokemon? Is that what are you get at? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, where Where are they from? And is that legal? I kind of like look over my shoulder, like anybody else in here? Why what the hell's going on? You're not a rat, are you? No, 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 no. I'm just we're no. just passing through town. Stop. We're trying by Dino to head over here. Yeah, trying to find uh, uh, some. Dino sent you. Yeah. Kind of. Get you the Dino discount. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. So how much for some uh, unoccupied balls? Unoccupied? I'll give them to you for five bucks. Oh. This guy's awful. Uh, you should send out a billion men. We can just try. Can I, can I <laughs> like, do a perception check to see if these are legit? <clears throat> okay, are you going to... <clears throat> okay. I feel like he's going to shoot us. He catches <laughs> like I'm trying to get. 16. Uh, they... From this distance, appear to be regular run-of-the-mill Pokeballs, but some of them do have the telltale dull red glow of an occupied ball. Bruh. Is there anybody else? There's like no one else There's working behind me. where he's at. Not that you can see. Okay. Uh, so, Ernie, I'd I'd like to buy one of your unoccupied Pokeballs if I could for five five dollars. Is that what you said? Yeah. And uh, what are in the uh, unoccupied? Pokeballs. In the occupied ones? Oh, I got all sorts of goodies. That's very vague. Do you want Marie? Just <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were outside. Yeah, I was just kidding. Just you are Marie? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am outside. One of them almost <laughs> killed our entire team. <laughs> so as well, if you're interested, I just got in a fresh electabuzz the other day. Dragged it in off the street. What? He's hungry and looking Drink. for a place to stay. It's why, a bit why aggressive. Do you, why do you say it so weird? It's just the way I talk, kid. Okay. How come you're the only one with that accent if you grew up here? Why are you making fun of the way I talk? I'm not. Lady? I'm not making fun no, of it. I'm just Laura. saying it's very distinct from everybody else we've met. I have a way of doing business. It's very discreet. I'm going to walk outside. Okay. It's like, see you later, kiddo. Hey. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna take my my one Pokeball, Ernie. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and best of luck with all this uh, black market dealing. Uh, just keep your voice down. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Ready for me? He hands you a Pokeball and he goes, "You sure you don't want the? Do you like the bus? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty pretty sure. Buy it and set it free. <laughs> Yeah, it's I could do like, that. It's probably like five thousand uh, well, dollars. Before before I go, how much would the Electabuzz cost? I give it to you for fifty bucks. What? That's it? It's gonna be a freaking hop it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like painted like an Electabuzz. Ah, <laughs> uh, I feel so sketched out about this. Cause what if it's like? Why he's... would Dino send us here? That's an excellent question. I feel like Dino is just the most aloof person, just has no idea what's going on. But. He's just like, Ernie's a nice guy. Ernie's got stuff for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you said cheap. Oh, man. Uh, you said cheap. You didn't have Not legit. 
<laughs> didn't hey, ask for legal. You asked that for is cheap. a fair point. We did not ask for legal. <laughs> hey, Milo, that guy underneath <clears throat> is a total creep. You were right to come outside as quickly as possible. We should take that guy down. Take him down? Yep. Like, report him to Officer David, take him down, or like... Or go back inside and overwhelm him with all of our Pokemon. Holy cow. <laughs> take all of his shit. I feel, like give it to would, Officer I feel like we Dan. would get in trouble. That might be true. That's I feel like talking he to you knows. right now. <laughs> bouncing ideas off you. I just don't like that guy, and I want him done. Yeah, for sure. I'm what not if... opposed to reporting that. That's We know David enough. Listen, this might be paranoia speaking, but what if he knows Deacon? Yeah, let's go talk to Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy conspiracy theory. Hey, Xavier, do you know Ernie? Oh. <laughs> That's true. We I actually, get... I kind of love that plan. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting idea. All right. Okay. Bye, Ernie. Bye. God. So can I now check to see if this Pokeball is legit now that I have it? Yeah, it's totally fine. Okay, well, he's just black market. There you go. Where he we got it from, you have no idea. We did ask. I don't this. care. You throw it, and a human body comes out. And just... <laughs> What's God funny is that damn. we asked for this, and we got exactly what we asked for. And we're all stretched out by it. <laughs> I mean, I got a Pokeball. Out of I need it a black market bucks. with cheap Pokeballs. I got a black market with cheap Pokeballs. I'm out. And I don't want any more of that. <laughs> Uh, that's super weird, though. That Pokeball Why? seems legit. So let's go to... Yeah, we going back to the Pokemon Center, to Xavier? Is Xavier in there? That's where he was. Okay. We can go look for him. Yeah, I thought he was true. out on the street when CJ was doing that performance thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure... And then you, that's like, chased him away, because he was chasing yeah. other people away. Yeah. <laughs> we could go check it out, see if he's there. Yeah. I want to go... I want to go there anyway. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find Xavier. Pokemon okay. Center. Let's get a group investigation check because you're looking <coughs> specifically for Xavier. Because Are we in the, the Pokemon highest. Center? Uh, if you want to be in the Pokemon Center, you may be in the Pokemon Center. Well, I want to. I, at the Pokemon Center. Probably right themes. outside. Yeah, do it, Phoebe. Mine's not good. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Why? Do it again. It's a group. You get to do it twice. 17. Okay. Uh, you don't see Xavier, but you do see a very small, like, dark purple mass just sort of floating in the top corner of the Pokemon Center, just sort of like... A mask? Like keeping an eye. A mass. Oh, just a mass. I said a mask. Dark purple mass? Mm-hmm. Fuck. In so who's, who's in the Pokemon What's Center, people-wise? Is it um, Cassius the Gashes? It does not appear Crawford. to be Cassius the Gashes, but it isn't necessarily... Too far off. Is it Gasly? Gasly! <laughs> who, who people like? Oh, that's like? Gasly! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see uh, two little kids that look like they're twins. Um, okay. Just sort of like high fiving in the corner. Nice. Like, yeah! Next to the purple one. cloud? No. Oh. No. Um, nobody else seems to really be paying attention to the small purple cloud. Let's go talk to the purple cloud. Hang on. Um, you can see <laughs> someone Wait. who appears to be a bird keeper. Um, has a similar glove to yours. Yes. Um, and you can see somebody who is uh, currently looks looks like they're just writing a bunch of uh, notes on a, a series of papers. Okay. Um, I want to approach the bird keeper person. Okay. Hi. And I can kind of like show my glove like just as a okay. quick little ice. As you do, he just goes, hey. What kind of bird Pokemon do you have? Like, well, I got a, I got a Firo. I got a Murkrow and a Pidgeot. Oh, you have a Murkrow? Yeah, do you? Yeah, I send out Monty and purchase on my glove. He's like, no kidding. Yeah. He's like, what's, what's your guy's name? Monty. He goes, oh, mine's Aiden. Hey, he goes, come on out, bud. super cool. And he purchases it, and you can see his, his Murkrow has like almost like a cowboy hat kind of status going huh. on. He's like, yeah, we do a lot of do a lot of work with it. I see you've, uh, you've changed his little... His little hair thing too. Yeah, he's. Uh, I'm training him to be a mail delivery bird. So just all the, the speed tests we do, it kind of whooshes it back. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, well, I, I help out at my dad's ranch, so. Oh, that's awesome. We thought he should look the part. So, uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Fix his hair up. Where are you from? He's like, oh, originally I'm from Oriander, but oh, we, so. uh, we're on, we're currently on vacation. Gotcha. My dad's doing some business deals. Cool. Have you been to Zantha yet? Uh, no, no, I haven't been to Zantha. Uh, who's Dang. your dad? 
Uh, it's an odd question. Uh, he just... Well, you talking works, about it? Uh, Didn't think it's all that odd? He, he works down in Oriander. Uh, named Philip. I don't know if you guys ever met him. I, I only asked because we know Mitch and Terry. Thought maybe I... Oh, yeah, those guys are great. Yeah, they're... Yeah, Mitch and Terry. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they helped us out when we were starting our ranch. They lent us some cows. Oh, that's cool. It was great. Um, I am wanting to send Monty out to deliver another letter, but, um, I'm, I was wanting, do you know anyone around here that's been to Xantha that can give me some directions for my buddy? Was, well, it's a big up. city. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure somebody's been there, but unfortunately, no, I don't know anybody that's been that far north. Dang. Okay. Cool. How many badges do you have? Are you doing the gym circuit? He goes, oh, no, that's, oh. that's beyond me. I spend way too much time at the ranch. Gotcha. Uh, you should try it while you're here, because Monty and I did it, and we were successful. No kidding. Yeah, and I'm sure you and Aiden could do it, too. It's like, well, congrats. Uh, Thanks. We'll, yeah, maybe we'll have to look into that. I got yeah. a couple days while I'm here. Oh, definitely go to the uh, Rite of Learning. It was amazing and it's a flying type gym so you might gain or the the right of, <clears throat> the right of passage is they use flying type pokemon you're not supposed to talk about the gym to people who haven't battled the she gym she told us what the one lady did with the Meryl. oh that's true she had a she gym badge and she said it was a flying type gym she did. Oh, okay i thought that was like the whole deal of the that was the only tidbit we got. It's all right. Mm -hmm. The badge police will be here soon. To <laughs> <laughs> Give me your uh, badge. <laughs> but they, uh, she's in there uh, in the right of learning, and she was able to teach. Uh, we're in the process of learning uh, like a whirlwind, tailwind type move. So I would hit that up and then hit the gym while you're here because that was amazing growth for it's us. Like, yeah, maybe they could. Uh, maybe they could get us a little better at. Uh, Corral and some of these milk tanks. They get rowdy sometimes. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. My Ask help. him about his dad's business. What? what In the meantime, he Bentley wants to roll a check to see what that cloud, cloud is in the corner and sure. if it belongs to anybody. Okay. Or if it's just hanging out, what would that be? I'm gonna catch me that cloud. Uh, probably yeah. inside. In the, in the black market Pokeball. I didn't get okay. one, but. Uh, 14. Okay. Um. You see the, the dark mass has sort of shifted into another corner. Um, you do see two very distinct, what look like eyes, and a little, like, red pearl necklace, almost. And it's just sort of oh. floating out there, staring down. And it locks eyes with you, and it just goes, <laughs> and it just backs up through the wall. It's gone? Mm -hmm. That's cool. I would like to follow that if I could. That's Go for freaky it. Freaky as hell. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, I team. Want to, I want to part of that. I'll come with you. Thanks, I'm beans. curious about this. Okay, so ghost. I want to like run out and go around the yeah. back of the Pokemon Center to see if I can catch that or see that ghost again. Okay. Yeah, as you get to the back, you can see it's sort of like gently floating down, and you see Xavier there, and he's holding out his hand. He's like, yeah, come Oh my god. And he sees you, and just goes, oh, and just like pulls out a Pokeball and just recalls it. He's like, we'll talk later. Hey, hey, kids. What's up? What were you doing? That Xavier? Alright. Yeah, I, I don't quite care about what he's doing. He's uh, clearly spying of some sort, but I want to ask you. Uh, Xavier, do you know Ernie at all? Do I know Ernie? Do I know Ernie? Who's Ernie? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Alright, thank you. Back to the Pokemon Center, Dino. Phoebe. Oh, no. Oh, Dino's great. Dino feeds me. This is, he's a okay. Yeah, Dino's cool. a nice guy. All right, see you, Xavier. Do you know, do you Maybe know stop spying on people. That'd be great. <laughs> I'm going to stay here and ask him a few more questions. <laughs> All right, I'll just hang so. back. <laughs> do you know anything about, like, when he first came here? Dino? What, Dino? Yeah. Uh, Dino's been here longer than me. Oh, I thought you, you were from here. Well, you know. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. He's a crazy person who to, lives uh, on the streets. Hard to keep track. Okay. Alright, well... 
You kids have some active imaginations. Nice seeing you, Xavier. Yeah, it's been great to see you again. Good to catch up. <coughs> All right, see you later. As you turn to leave, he pulls out his little Pokemon again, and it just sort of like starts whispering to him. It's like, oh. okay, well, I mean, yeah. right then. My, it explains where he gets some of his information, <laughs> which means doesn't necessarily mean it's not true. It's just. I'm also assuming he actually knows what that Pokemon is saying. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of assumptions. I have nothing more to add. I'm gonna walk up to the person that's writing in the Pokemon. Yeah. We're gonna go back inside. Hi. She goes, oh, hi. And she kind of like puts her hair behind her, her ear and like puts a pen up. She goes, oh, sorry, what? Hi. Hi. Can I, can I help you? Yeah, I just was curious what you were writing. She goes, oh, I'm, I'm grading papers. Oh, are you a teacher? Yeah. Where do you work? I work at the uh, the Rite of Learning. I, I do oh. some of their, their data entry. And occasionally I get to teach classes. Oh, cool. What's your name? Sophia. Hi, Sophia. She might be She's... entering data for us. Possibly. Sophia. Um, are you doing data entry now? Well, kind of. I'm going over some test results. Are you allowed to talk about those test results? Well, as long as it, I don't disclose any personal information. Could you say, like, what Pokemon they're about? Yeah. You could just ask and say, I was just there and I did one with my total dial. True. <laughs> I could do that, <laughs> just but skip what if it's not about me? <laughs> going around. Are those test results about me? <laughs> Isn't that what you're trying to find out? Anymore? Not really. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what she's doing. <clears throat> she goes, oh, no. Uh, ask about well, Bernie. currently I'm, I'm going over tests for one of my own Pokemon. I'm quite curious about how he's doing. Oh. What Pokemon do you have? I have a man team. Oh. oh. I uh, recently encountered a man team. <laughs> her eyes kind of light up. She goes, oh, You. Uh huh. Oh, of course. <laughs> Gavin's one of my students. Oh. I liked Gavin a lot. We're, <laughs> we're working on his confidence. Yeah. He seems like he's. On the right track? At least he was acceptive of my compliments. <laughs> That's so good. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. His Mantine is is actually um, one of the children of mine. Oh. I gave it to him when he first came into my class. So is yours, like, super gigantic, too? Oh, no. I don't know what he's doing for that thing, but it is <laughs> far exceeding growth expectations for a Mantine of its age. Interesting. Yeah, that's curious. I wonder why his maintain is like that. A lot of taurine. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> Tadinos! <laughs> Do you have any other test results with you? Yeah, I have several. Do you have any for a Toto Dial? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I, I do. Cool. That's probably me, assuming that there's no other Toto Dial there. Can you, like, tell she me? She kind of about... flips through some notes. She goes, What's your name? My name's CJ. Um, last name J. Yeah, C first J. name C, last name J. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I have you right here. Cool. What yeah. is it? What does it say? By all accounts, your Totodile is an offensive powerhouse. Um, he leaves himself open to attacks. Um, not the quickest learner, but when he gets it, he seems to internalize very quickly, especially if it relates to offense. True. That seems pretty true. Dr. Reese says his tactics could use some work, but the best offense is a good offense, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what we focus on. <laughs> the best offense is a good offense. So <laughs> that, that makes sense. Um, Hard to be in danger if your foe's incapacitated. Nice. Are there other <clears throat> right of learning schools in different cities? Mm -hmm. There are several. Is there one in Xantha? Why are you no, there's not, not in Xantha. Xantha. Uh, the nearest one to here would be in Fola, in oh. the capital. Um, otherwise, I believe Watalonga has a small one that's just opening. Hmm. Do the different schools focus on different like strategies or different things, or that is it all basically just teaching Pokemon? Well, each each school has uh, different teachers, and different teachers have different methods. True. 
that is. Tro. That makes sense. As for tro. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you, Sophia. You're like, yeah, of course, anytime. So what? What was the? What was the place that was on the the way out past the gym that the guy said the that we wanted to explore? Bureau of Discovery. Yes. Should we go there? No. Uh, I kind of I'm curious about these twins as well though. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't want to fuck them up. Unless Milo wants to battle his new bird friend. Why? Well, I was, I, up, I was still trying to find somebody. Uh, I don't think in our experience. Can I? Go, I want to go up to Nurse Joy. Okay. Uh, she doesn't tell us anything. Yeah, they know, always have one line of dialogue. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just you never know. You do know. Uh, <laughs> do you have a, a map of Route One Hundred Four? No. Okay. All okay. right. <laughs> Thanks, so Nurse Joy. But I have Tune for Trevor, and oh one of the little God. twins goes, "Yeah!" And just runs up and is like, "Hi!" And just tackles a ladybug and is like, "I missed you!" And it's like, "Yeah!" And they get hugs. <laughs> Do they make brass knuckles? No. <laughs> Here's Troy, you got any brass knuckles behind that counter? Trevor, you seem psyched. How old are you? Sick. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I have apparently very much scared you. We should probably leave before we get arrested. It's okay, we know Officer David. Tyler! Tyler! And the other twin just runs up and goes, It's okay, bud. It's okay. Let's go. <laughs> Just walk away. He's like, sorry, he's really shy. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare him. I'm sorry. It's okay. You just, you got like kind of a rule. <laughs> nice. I guess that's true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> like, you look scary is what he's trying to say. Tyler just goes, bye. And just turns and walks away with Trevor. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> well. Um. I want to go outside and around back to the Pidgey Coop. Okay. Is there anybody out there with Pidgey Coop? Uh, not currently, no. The Pidgeys are just kind of... They sort of police themselves. Is there any hint or thing that would signify that any of the Pidgeys are going to Xantha? Are we going to Xantha Yeah. Next? I'm down to go to Xantha or Wadalonga. I think we need to stock up on stuff for going to Wadalonga. Yeah. Because that's a week. Yeah. yeah, what do you think? Ben? A week journey? Uh, to Wadalonga. It's to three Zampa. days to Xantha. Was there a gym in Xantha? Wasn't that what Dino sure said? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably do that. Okay, so if we're good with that? Three days instead of a week? Yeah. Did he say that there was one in Wadalonga too, though? I don't remember. I just, we just asked after that, what are the other options? Yeah. And that's what he said. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so we're good with Xantha, sure. and we're committing, because I want to send do we, them Do we have a so map? If, if I yeah. send them there, that's where I'm going. Um, you guys yeah. always, at any point in time, have access to this map, because okay. this is essentially... Can I... Well, if you if it's taped down, you don't I mean, have to... It, it is taped, but I can okay. get it up. So can you just tell me, like, where in relation to Xantha the other cities are? Like, if we go to Xantha, is it, like, super inconvenient to... Like, would we be backtracking to get to Wadawanka, or would we... Closer. You would your easiest route would be to head east to Fola and then south to Wanalong. Are are there any Pidgeys that are like out, out looking at them I can tell they're going to Xantha? Um to the untrained eye, not a chance. But to you, yes. There are some. There are some that are headed to Xantha. You pro Just what a mail delivery boy. Doing what I do best, deliver mail. <laughs> you, you, you now have to talk in that accent for the rest of the <laughs> God damn, I don't know what I do best. Deliver mail. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Monty, my boy. It's t time for test number two. Oh, this one should be, should be, famous last words, easier. Because... All you have to do is follow these Pidgeys, okay? That's all you gotta do. It just looks like to the Pidgeys and back. Cross-eyed Pidgey, just stare at the ground. Yeah. <laughs> follow that one. <laughs> I wanna take my glove and like using a little piece of pepper jerk that I have, nice. uh, take the one that I see is going to Xantha and like get him on my glove. Okay. He kind of like is like, 
Yeah. Yeah. Papa. Oh. <laughs> and it just like waddles up your arm. It's like. <laughs> Monty, this one. This one. Don't lose track of him. I'm just looks at this. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Does he have a little like pack? A little. Monty does. No, the Pidgey. Mm-hmm. He's delivering mail. They right? do theirs tied around their feet. Okay. Old school. Um. Are you are you actually gonna have him like deliver a letter like? Well, I don't know the, anybody there. That's the problem. No, I know, but like just like a letter that someone is sending through the mail service, like you could just attach one to Monty, right? I don't think that's how that works. It's not strictly speaking legal. Yeah. Let's read it first. <laughs> so he's just like going through the motions. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. It's just practice because okay. this isn't one of we have to discuss off camera what the actual cities are that I have to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is strictly just testing and, and flying on his own and getting used to it. Do you want to just know the names of the three cities that yeah. you have to deliver to? I, th- I didn't know that those had already been decided on. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've, I've had them for a while. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Them, I was just waiting before. for you to ask, like, where's the nearest one? I thought we weren't going like, to figure it out yet. Well, ask ask the the question. Question. Damn it! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yeah, there's this dude named Ernie. <laughs> no! Oh, shit! All right, what are they? Greengate. Oh, okay. Fallchester. Ooh. And no, Roadhead. Not, hang Roadhead. on. Greengate. Fallchester. Fallchester? Is Roadhead. that one word? Yep. Wait, what'd you say? Sick. Greengate, Fallchester, and Rothhead. Rothhead? Mm-hmm. Oh, so, down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pet the Pidgey and, like, ruffle his feathers okay. so that it looks different. So okay. he can't mix them up. Give him a little, little of this. Yeah, Pidgey's a little like, tussle. <laughs> yeah. Rude. College. Yeah. So, like, Monty, this is the Pidgey you're following. Follow him all the way to the city. Um, I love you. <laughs> Say it! <laughs> and mean it. <laughs> no, I, 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 like, I want to try to see if I can have him go, and then when he gets there, turn around and meet us on the road, but I feel like there's just way too many variables yeah. for that to go super and, sideways. And you don't know, yeah, where the so, road is. So, get to the city. Just Pokemon Center. And wait for us. We're gonna, it's gonna take us three days. Oh, boy. I mean, if you tell him to backtrack on the road, and we just stick to the road. Yeah, but who knows what could happen. Like, there's so many variables. He's walking, there's like a landslide has occurred. Yeah. Like, no! There's no more road. Monty! There's a tree in the middle of the road. Some, Get off the road! Some, like, <laughs> onyx makes a, a canyon and we have to go around and then he just flies right over and, like, there, I just feel like there's too many yeah, variables. Yeah, just wait there. Just wait there and then we'll get you. It'll be a couple days. And then I give him a little piece of pepper jerk. And I show him the badge that we won, and I go, I know you got this, buddy. He just takes the pepper jerk, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> And he just takes up. Nice. Without the Pidgey? <laughs> Good luck, Told Monty. Wait. <laughs> he takes off, and like, and he's like, wait! And he just turns on and he goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Pidgey. This Pidgey. <laughs> he looks different. That's the one you follow. Just stick by his side and wait for me at the coop there. Okay. Oh, it always hurts. Is it like I don't remember what time of day we started? Or well, like we what probably time it, is it was nighttime when we went into the gym, so I'm assuming we like slept and stuff afterwards. Otherwise, it's nighttime right now. Is it? It can be daytime. Okay. It's, fine. it's daytime. The next it's day, because we needed to rest slept. anyway following the it's gym. Daytime. Okay. Yeah. So, do you guys want to go check out the Bureau of Discovery? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, Take down is there anything three. I can do to encourage this Pidgey to start flying now? Uh, or does, is he on a timer? Excuse me. They sort of leave on their own schedules, but basically they'll fly with the sun for directional purposes. So they, he's going to leave probably soon? Yeah. Okay. Using the magnetic field of the Earth. <laughs> Science! <laughs> Uh, Alright, so I'm good. Bureau of Discovery time? Let's do it. Yeah. 
We need to find out what's going on with Ernie if we're going to go take him down. I want to find Officer David. Unless you guys are also down with my plan that I discussed with Mila while you were inside. Let's just go mess up Ernie with all of our Pokemon. My concern is I don't want to be but near that. I'd rather just be like, hey, we went into this restaurant and things got sketched real quick. Please go help us Electabuzz. Rather than like us battling, getting mm-hmm. caught yeah. by police, and, like, how do you talk your but way out of that? my point is we don't know who Ernie knows. Right. What if he's d- given some kickbacks to Officer David? Right. I mean, you're not wrong, so then if we fight him, it's not like we're going to we're gonna kill him. Yeah. Then he's just going to tell everyone in the city that's on his team, and they'll all be after us. Yeah. That's right. even worse. So then we're not doing anything. I mean, I'm down to, like, talk to people and try to find someone we can trust, but I think that's better than going in and just straight fighting him. I'd be surprised if David is cahooting with Ernie. But I I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like just going in and fighting him in a battle is a a bad idea. What about Xavier? He was... He didn't know who Ernie was. was Oh, you saw him. Your own discovery? Yeah, let's go check it out. And if we see Officer David on the way, tell him about Black Market or don't? Uh, let's just ask him about it. Have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, I'm like, ah, okay. Does someone want to... To the Bureau! ...roll to see if we see Officer David <laughs> on the way? the Bureau of On the walk? Yeah. I'll make a. I'll make an Officer David check. Nice. <laughs> Officer David. David will not be seen. Roll for David. I rolled an eight. <laughs> Officer David. I get a plus three on David, so it's an eight. You're proficient in David. <laughs> yeah. Proficient in David. You don't smell him. Uh, you do not encounter Officer David. Uh, you do see two other, like, beat cops. They hey. sort of walk in there. Want to talk to the beat rounds. cops? I mean, we don't have as oh, much rapport, but... What's up, we Bruce? Can. I think if we're honestly worried about Ernie, like, Ernie knowing cops, we're not, we shouldn't just talk to two random cops. But we should about find David. David. Okay. I hear ya. Let's just hit up the... Beer up, beer up. Right, okay. Let's do some discovery. My I like how 98% of our journey <laughs> has been like talking ourselves into a plan and then out of a plan. Yeah. Like, let's do that. Nah, this could go horribly wrong. <laughs> and then anything that we just dive into turns out awful. No, usually it's been like the opposite. It's been like, oh, that was actually a good experience. Yeah. Oh, all right. Sure. Like the tour, I was like, not a chance. And you guys went in and got like a bunch of free stuff. <laughs> and the like, oh, okay. Yeah, we thought that was going to be super sketch, and then it wasn't. I mean, it's a little sketch. To the Bureau! Did we make it? You make it to the Bureau. Yes! We're it alive! It's a massive building that lives perfectly in the shadow of the massive Pokeball statue. Penis nice. tower. Is it a city <laughs> with gilded leaves? It is not. Oh. It is just a concrete structure. Oh, interesting. Like a like a rectangle? Mm-hmm. Oh. Very, there, know very bland things. looking building. There are two individuals stationed out front wearing very nice suits. Long sunglasses. ties, sunglasses, and they each have a little like pager in their ear. It's like a memory oh, eraser. Sick. I'm gonna walk up to him like a stupid kid. Ready? Is this the CIA? Here we go. Hey fellas, is this like a science museum? No. Oh. What what is it? This is the mayor's private security <laughs> headquarters. Oh, I'm gonna need you to take a couple steps back. Why does he? Okay, I'll I'll do that. We know the mayor though. He's, he's we we do know we do know the mayor. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows the mayor. All right. How do you know the mayor? Let's go fuck myself. He sent yeah. my chicks. Oh. So you guys okay. are best friends. We're so close. <laughs> oh! I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go inside? No. Why not? It's like the guards at the English palace, they can't like smile or yeah. show any emotion. Yeah. They just <laughs> He was a little bit sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, he was sassy. Why not? Just goes. No one's allowed inside. No one? Is the mayor allowed inside? Of course the mayor's allowed inside. <laughs> so not no one. No one in your group. Oh. I thought I thought you were gonna be like, maybe you can go in, but not you. But you didn't do that, so. <laughs> okay. What about for one dollar? <laughs> yeah, is it just all security stuff? What would you say? You just about do security this, stuff. This, uh, 
Three Everything hours. like on the surface is crazy sketch, and then anytime we like do any sort of investigation, it's like no, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly chill. It's a character boy. Do you know where the mayor is right now? He's in his office. In this building, or is that he's in the tower? That's right. Yeah, that's where he said this tower. His, his office was. Cool. So he has all right the tower as his office, and then the Bureau of Discovery as his office. It kind of makes sense that like it's the security office. Cause it's right next to the tower. Why? You why do, are you guys called the Bureau of Discovery? Because we always find out. Oh. So. Because it's, it's a stupid name, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like you're a, a veteran security man. <laughs> <laughs> you all right there, Milo? And Milo's broken. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> Uh, well, do you, do you guys know about so the uh, the pizza so joint? Uh, immediately. <laughs> we know everything about it. Uh, do you now? E- everything indeed. Everything. Mm-hmm. All right. What about Dino? What about Dino? I don't know. You ever eat there? No, of course not. Yeah. <laughs> you're not you're not falling into any of CJ's traps. <laughs> <laughs> They're not good traps. It's just like not at all good traps. Go on. Go like, on. Here's my mission bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I feel like this is a fruitless endeavor. What about Ernie's? You ever eat there? Ernie barely sells food. That is factual. <laughs> we found that out earlier today and we're scared. He doesn't scare you, though. Big security man. <laughs> oh, I've seen you change your tactics. <laughs> Buttering his biscuit. He said he knows everything about Ernie already. I don't, I don't need to be coy. Yeah, but like, Do why you... are they not doing anything about that? Do exactly, that's why it's, <laughs> it's probably fine. It's probably the mayor working in goats, but that's what we said. I'm sure you guys do know him, but do you know Xavier? We have many eyes on Xavier. Oh, man. Why? He just seems a little kooky. Why would you have many eyes on him? Because we don't know what he's going to do next. He could be a security threat. He doesn't work for you because he was doing some spying on his own. We know. Okay. We keep eyes on him. How do you keep eyes on him? Do you have, like, cameras? Do you you have to spy on him with Pokemon? Don't worry about it. Do you have Pokemon? Of course I do. What kind? Don't worry about it. (laughs) This guy. If you play your cards right, you won't have to see him. I won't have oh. to see them? Well, could I, like, friendly friendly see them? No. Dang it. It's against protocol. Fair enough. It's protocol? I can tell you're starting to like us, though. <laughs> <laughs> Butter that biscuit! <laughs> Oh, God. So, if we wanted to see the mayor, we should just go to his office in the tower? We can make an appointment. With you? With you, yeah. <laughs> Are you also his secretary? No. Okay. That's, no. that's a lot for one man to do. That offended him. It usually <laughs> takes him a while to respond, but that was a no! How long have you worked for the mayor? You pushed a button there. Oh. Too long. Do you not like working for the mayor? It's fine. Puts a roof over my head. Keeps my family fed. He doesn't like Oh, he has a family. He has a family. He has a family. You're a family man. Just anything he says. Ah! Repeat it back. (laughs) Yes, that's what I said. (laughs) God. (laughs) Okay. I'm content. Yeah, me too. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Nah, of course. All right, bye. Don't worry about it. Nice to meet you. Uh, Final final question. Uh, Do you know if... What types of Pokemon are on Route 104, by chance? Throwing it out there? Question? No? You can always pass by the right of learning. To right? They have, they have records on all that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. To... Yeah. Um, so it's like a rectangle, right? Yep. There in the front. Mm-hmm. There are windows? There's a few, but okay. nothing on the first floor. Okay. How many stories does this building appear to be? 
like 10 to 12. Holy oh. fucking stories. Some why does he need... Down in there. Yeah, why does he need a 12-story building for his security team? And he's the only one allowed inside? I call bullshit! <laughs> well, it is Alluvia. We just developed one rapport with one of the security guards, <laughs> so if we break in and get caught by him, he might hesitate and it could give us a window. <laughs> That's a lot of ifs. You're going all Pokemon cops on this. <laughs> we are not prepared to do that. We don't even have tasers! <laughs> um, okay, well... I mean... What do you guys want to do? Well... I mean... We don't want to anymore. We I should go to the, the right of learning, because the, the Mr. Security Bro said that we can learn about the Pokemon on the route there, and we could maybe do some more training before we leave. That'd be cool. Is, yeah, is there anything else anybody wants to do before we leave? That. I mean, I'm down to go. No, I know, but other than that. <laughs> There's not really anything else that I want to do. I'd, I'd be down to okay. take down Ernie, but it seems like Ernie's working with... <clears throat> I want to kind of try Declan. and get this building. I want to buy things, but that, it's not, not worth it here. It's not well, that's what I kind of want to get moving. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I don't feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go back there, and then we'll, we'll leave. Yeah. Yeah, do we want to do some training and then figure out what's on the... Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We'll do that in the only... Yeah. Okay. I'm down. We'll go back to the right of learning. So it's now at, like, midday or afternoon? It's, like, afternoon. Okay. Should we try to make an appointment with Deacon mm -hmm. and ask him about this building? Do you really want to? I mean, what's a he going to say bit. to us? All right. Let's pop in the tower real quick. I'm for it. Even if we can't see him right away, we can go do that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm, I'm humoring you. Let's do it. It's a good idea for you. Because I really want right. to go get Monty <laughs> left him, so I'm like anxious to leave. That's a good idea. But uh, we'll pop in. All right. Is there, I'm, I'm going to guess there's like a reception desk mm -hmm. immediately, so you can't do much in there. Yeah. Uh, Again, and it's just a gold-plated reception desk. Beautiful. <laughs> it's like Trump Tower. Hi, we met uh, Deacon the other day, and he said if we needed anything, we could talk to him. And we had a run-in with a scary man, and we wanted to talk to him. <laughs> the receptionist just kind of, like, doesn't even look up at you. She's just texting. She goes, uh-huh. Okay, we're going to go upstairs and see him then. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, CJ. <laughs> yeah. So how many floors is the tower? Or is it... Several, several, several. 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 So elevator. Is there like top. we can take the elevator, right? You can do them too. Okay. All right. Let's pop in the elevator. Elevator. Go to the deacon's yeah, floor. You push the button. Nothing happens. Damn it. You notice there's a slot for a key. Mm. Hey, reception lady, can I get your key? So, I don't have one. Who does? God damn it. Just the mayor, or like the security force. Are those the stairs? No. Not for the public. Oh, where? And the mayor Halsey doesn't like taking the stairs. That makes sense. Where are the stairs? She's like, I can't tell you. <laughs> you sure? Let's no. just check some doors. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> care. Okay. What else is in this room? Uh, very little. There's a few plants. There's some, like, couches for sitting on. Uh, there's a little, like, water cooler that you can get some water from. I get some water. Reception lady, right. can you can you it's very crisp? It's like cucumber. Water. Ooh, <laughs> love me some cucumber. Water. Can you page the mayor and tell him that Milo, CJ, Phoebe, and Bentley, um, you have something urgent to tell him? It's like, yeah, who are they? That's us. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Can <laughs> yeah. you page names that? and stuff? Yeah, can yeah. you page well, them? cute. Thank you. Yeah. It's like, Mayor Halsey, there's a bunch of kids here that want to talk to you. I got to page them. <laughs> You're really good at your job. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> Is this a volunteer basis? No, I get paid. Oh, okay. Like Probably so a lot. Much. Yeah. Have you worked here a long time? No. Mm, I think so. Cool, cool. <laughs> he's not paging back or saying anything. Is he up uh, in his office? Looks like he's not. Sorry. Is he here? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, All right, well, let's leave. Bye, all these kids are here to see you. I got paged him again. <laughs> yeah, we see that. That's good. Yeah. Anything else? No, let's, let's leave. Okay. <laughs> forever. <laughs> so you guys turn around to leave you here. Ding! And a door opens and two men in suits step out. And then behind them is the very boisterous, very garishly dressed Deacon, Deacon Halsey. He just goes, Kids! Hey! Uh, yes! Deacon! He 
You got this, Phoebe. I'm Mayor Deacon. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Good. Yeah, good. You guys voters yet? <laughs> yes. That's you, a good you bet. You <laughs> bet. <laughs> He's like, you're oh, too young. Hell is you have to a shot. In Pokemon Funiverse. <laughs> What can I do for you? Why Why are you uh, here? So you're kind of curious. Do you know Ernie? Do I know Ernie? I feel like you know Ernie. Is he Ernie. I, I Odor? Think he, so. he runs the uh, pizza joint across from Dino's. Ernie's! Never been there, but huh. my people tell me Ernie is a stand up fella. Your people? Your people? Yeah, there's a security force. Yeah. Bureau of Discovery. Apparently that's like your security building? Yeah. That's awesome. Why'd you name it that? Oh, I thought it was great, because we always find out, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that not yeah. the best name? I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> what are you finding out, though? Oh, just everything. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a wonderful name. This is really sketch. Yeah. They're yeah. just, like, spying on everybody. Yeah. And, like, his yeah. security detail yeah. knows, but... Yeah. He maybe sort of doesn't. Oh, he does. So maybe they go rogue. He does. It's all thing. Okay. okay. Are you gonna ask him more? Like, him you more? whisper really loud, kid. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, bad. you established the Bureau of Discovery? Oh, no. It's been here for all the mayors past. How long have oh. you been mayor? Okay. Let's see. Uh, with the elections coming up, uh, six years. Wow. Yep, he's fully. Where's yep. the, yeah. like, previous mayors? Did I leave town, or? What? Like, the previous mayors, who, who was that? Did you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't keep tabs on them. <laughs> so you have no idea? Nope. Not personally, no. Okay. I'm sure there's records of them somewhere, though, am I right? In the Bureau yeah, of Discovery. Probably, probably. <sighs> All right. So Could we go into the Bureau of Discovery? Could we get a tour? Nah, you don't want to go in there. It's boring and, and drab and not a place for children. What if I want to be a security guard when I grow up? <laughs> well, do you really? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going, CJ. I mean, it's, it's it's an ambition that I haven't fully, like, flushed out, but, like, when I met one of your security You've guards... You've never had the opportunity. It's yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good way to say that. Tell you what, when you get older, you come back, uh-huh. I'll put you on my squad. Wow. With, oh, just straight up when I come back when I'm older. I like your character. You're doing great. Okay. So you come back to me, I'll put you to work. Hopefully he's still mayor. Hey, that's pretty cool. I just got a job in the future. <laughs> so, wait. You have your special security force. Do you work with the police officers outside of, like, mayor stuff? Do you have, like, friends on the police force? Oh, of course I have friends on there, but they, they operate independent of me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. They do their own thing. Petty crimes and stuff. My guys handle the big stuff. That's interesting. Why do your guys handle the big stuff? Doesn't it seem like it should be... Yeah, probably, but that's the way the Bureau runs things. Okay. So they're in charge. Do you, so you, yeah. do you tell the Bureau what... They tell you so what to do. If you told them, you well, well, they don't happen. tell you what to do. But Mayor Deacon no is their I can puppet. make requests. Yeah. yeah. Right. Interesting. And so they'll look into it. Any good. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, Mayor. You're great. Yeah. Like, ah, you're great, too. He kind of slaps you on the back, and you kind of, like, lose your balance for a second. <laughs> right to flirting. Right. The right of learning. Did did you know? did you I feel like it's just going to take a roll. Make a David check. David check! What's the David Smell check? Him. I already did it. Okay. Uh, is perception? Yeah. Investigation. Investigation is not as good. Uh, Eleven. Uh, still no sign of Officer David. Yep. <gasps> He's been Somebody kidnapped. Did we make it to the right of learning? You've made it to the right of learning. But as you guys uh, enter inside, you see uh, Dr. Simon Reese busy plugging away some numbers into a computer. Um, yeah. You can see Sophia is currently discussing things with him. What are you guys doing here? We're... I thought you worked at the battle hall. What are you doing with the right of learning? He's like, well, I... I uh, assist here. Oh. Sometimes. And Sophia's like... I don't believe we've met. I'm Sophia. Hi, I'm Mila. Hello. Hi, Sophia. Hi, CJ. She's cute. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Bentley had some questions for you guys. What? 
Uh, you know, well, what, can I I did? Yeah. what can I do for you? Uh, have you ever gone into a place called Ernie's Pizza Joint? No, I don't like cheese. That was not the answer I was expecting to get. Um, what about Dino? I also don't like meat, and that man is sort of gross. <laughs> Sorry, that Fair was enough. rude. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Officer David around anywhere around town recently? I'm not familiar with an Officer David. Um, He's a figment of our imagination. <laughs> this city is city. playing tricks on our mind. <laughs> Can get out of here, it's just a big city. It's all just the Matrix. Yeah, right. <laughs> or it's just a big city. <laughs> it's like if someone just came up to you and was like, you know Officer Ramirez? No. Who Why would Officer I know? <laughs> Every cop. Well, if he's always hanging out in the Pokemon. Yeah, zone, right? you're on the force. <laughs> what? Um, is uh, what's her name? Chadot and uh, Chad? No, Chadot. <laughs> Chatot. Where's Chad? Carlia. Chad. Are Chadot Chad and Carlia here? No, she's currently running a, a gym oh, challenge cool, for cool, someone. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Cool. All right, well, cool, cool, cool. Bentley cool, cool. has some more questions, and then we will go, I guess. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if maybe we could do some uh, some more training. Like, suppose we can do a little bit of training. What's wrong? Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Are you okay? And Sophia just goes, children, it's just how he talks. Oh, that's I don't remember it being that exaggerated yeah. last time. Yeah. Maybe he's just it's stressed. You, I thought you were going to ask about the route. No, well, we can do that. Okay. I've, I've forgotten, and you keep saying I have questions, <laughs> and I'm, like, kind of panicking. So <laughs> I'm just... Like, I'm just sweating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, Who's teaching? I'm Is Sophia teaching? I don't Are like you teaching Sophia? To <laughs> like, sure, I'll teach. Nice! Uh, also, I was keep wondering... Keep your pants, uh, CJ. On She's hot! <laughs> Route 104? <laughs> what, what kinds of Pokemon could we find on Route 104? Well, Route 104 is mostly a parched savanna. Great. Oh, uh, like so you'll else. find a lot of fire and rock type Pokemon like out there. Ooh, ooh. Uh, most recently we had a, uh, a little little herd of Ponyta run through. <gasps> so you might see those if you head that way. On a ride on a majestic Rapidash. Can you ride on them? Is there a way to safely ride on them? On a pony? Yeah. If it trusts you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. It's a three-day journey. We all get pony toss. We get there in like, oh, a day. Oh, that'd be so cool. Just riding on How a bunch of ponies. How sick would that be? <laughs> Pretty cool. Do the four horsemen. <laughs> now I'm into it. <laughs> you just gotta go get a bug ball. <laughs> You have to go to Ernie's or shell out thirty dollars. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just make one. Trust me. <laughs> make one. Trust me. Listen, love me. <laughs> you will love me. Oh God, I'm fire! <laughs> just does the like Red Dead Redemption, like jumps on its back, <laughs> yeah. and, like, breaks it. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you guys want to? Yup, I do. Sophia, will you teach me? Uh-huh. She just goes. What do you want to learn? Um, you know, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> I was here before with Matoda Dal, and he learned his water thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm assuming he did his thing. So, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's, do you, do you, are you interested in trying to train up the boys? Yeah, I'm down for do that. I will do double hound door. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we team learn? Sure. Sweet, because we caught these... Uh, Houndors and their brothers, and they do better together, it seems like. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Mila, let's do it! Alright, let's send out Howl. And Growl. Okay, Howl and Growl hit the field. Howl's still favoring his leg. Yeah. And she goes, oh my. It, have you gotten that looked at? I, ha- I mean, I've taken him yeah. to the Pokemon Center, and we've been trying. Phoebe's, like, put some gauze on it. Uh, I I'm trying to find, although Olivia's a little rich for my blood, I want to, like, make him a brace to help him, but... I would feel like Nurse Joy would do that, but all right. Dr. Reese goes, I may have something okay. for you. Sweet. She goes, it's got some flames on it. Please try to, to calm it down first. It may it may strike if I go for the wounded okay. leg. Uh... Howl, buddy, and, and kneel down and just start scratching his tummy. 
He's like, yeah. Uh, he kind of rolls onto his back. The, perfect. Stay like <laughs> this. Stay like this. I might keep petting you. Dr. Reese is going to put something on your leg to make it feel better. It might hurt in the moment, but it's trust me, it'll help. He goes, it, it will hurt. All and right. I do apologize. All right, buddy. It's going to hurt, but just... In advance. And I'm just going to keep petting, rubbing his belly and scratching behind his ear. Double pets. He comes out with a little, like, mechanical brace. Phoebe, you want to pet him with me? He goes, yeah. We need to set this. Okay. We need to set his leg properly. Okay. So he just okay. sort of like straps <laughs> on like a, little, a little mechanical device and it just sort of starts to straighten out the leg. You watch his howl just starts like cringing and whimpering as you're petting him and he's like, he's bracing really hard against it and he's looking into you and he's like, bro, he's like, bro, this sucks. Help me. And he know, starts buddy. to howl. Oh, I know, buddy. And I just pet like behind both of his ears. Okay. And Phoebe's as, petting his belly. As the yeah. arm fully stretches, you hear it. Oh, God. And he just lets out one final little whimper, and then he's kind of like, he sort of like stretches and retracts the, the leg. That's good. Okay. He, he winces a little bit every time he does it, but it's good. he's got like nice. a metal leg now. It's getting better. That's cool. He's like the Terminator. Yeah, I like nice. it. Nice. All right. Um, should I, uh, in all honesty now, should I even do any training with him or just let him relax? He learns something? iron leg. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> It's like, well, it depends what kind of training you want to do. Uh, I wouldn't recommend combat for maybe a few days if you could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just out of commission for two of my three Pokemon. Train up, lady, bah, the do entire it. Entire way. Get her those brass knuckles. Well, um, what, what kind of training do you want to do? I honestly don't even know. I just, just uh, can they even learn like range moves? My, I mean, we can try that, like, throwing the fire, but mine can't produce it. So I'm thinking is, since they work well together, they can learn from each other. And yeah. you can start to learn Howl from me, and I can try to learn Fire Fang from you. True. That could that could be good, too. Does that sound good? What do you think, so Sophia? Seems like an excellent plan. Since Solid. they like each other, yeah, they can let's learn do it. from each other. Let's do it. Learning. She goes very well. Um... That way I only have to howl and breathe fire and not strain my leg. Yeah. She's like, why don't we start with howling? Okay. We'll start there. Let's see if they can sort of howl in unison. Something a pack would do in the wild. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d6 each. Oh. Da da da. Ba -ba. Get it. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> Double sixes. <laughs> As Hal lives up to his name, just partially out of pain and also out of just eagerness to, to learn. That was really cool. As he fires off just a bellowing howl, you watch his growl looks at him, it starts like a... And then just breaks out into a beautiful little howl. Boom! Yeah. Yes! His howl and growl will start roaring into the night. And you're just like... That was awesome. You yeah. guys kind of get some chills. <laughs> Sophia's just taking notes. She's like, oh. Woo, they do good. work well as a team. Heck that was yeah. awesome. They're ready to go. Yeah. Damn. Cool. It's like, very well, that, that was a resounding success. <laughs> um, <laughs> I suppose we could see if, if your little one can produce fire. Yeah. We could see if yours could potentially shoot it at range. Yes. Let's do that. Let's give it a shot. Woo! So I need a constitution check from Growl. Okay. Shoot the fire, shoot the fire. 16. Okay. As Growl is producing uh, flames for Firefang, and he's just sort of dripping like almost magma <coughs> on the ground, and it's just sort of sizzling and cooling. Um, Sophia's like, very well. Um, see if you can get him to spit. For right. lack of a better word. <laughs> Alright, Growl. Try and like... I don't even know. Like, throw up it at the ground over there. <laughs> Hashtag like, throw up it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll. You should an have attack. Crash do that with the water that he vomits just as practice and like do this. And True, could do that. Um, <laughs> Crash is gonna have to do it too. <laughs> he's gonna fail. Yeah, I was gonna say, is Crash it. even like good at that? <laughs> he's he's gotten better at it, but he's still not very good at it. But um, like, Growl, you know how how Crash does it. Try to do it like that, but with fire. 
Okay, okay, so what do I have to do? Uh, roll an attack. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> like a fire fang attack? Yeah. It's a seven. Okay. You watch as Growl looks at you and just goes, <laughs> <laughs> Like a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> and just fire just starts kind of leaking out of his face. He's like, Oh, <laughs> Yes. Okay. It's kind of like heaving. That's great. She's like, oh, okay. Um, that looked like it hurt. Um, <laughs> let's let's try yours. Let's okay. See if we can do your, your, okay. your little one to make fire. Okay. Um, so, Howl, I, I know you can't produce your own body heat. It might help to go stand near Growl's flaming vomit. Um... Just kind of get all that heat, take that body heat, and just focus it as much as you can in your mouth. So that when you bite, it's like a really hot fire bite. So just focus all that heat in your mouth. He kind of limps over. Heat in the mouth, heat in the mouth. Over to the heat. Go ahead and make a constitution check. Heat in the mouth. Oh boy. 21. Okay. Heat in the mouth. You watch as the fangs start to glow like a dull red. And then a brighter red, and then brighter, Shh, and brighter. It. And the flames go from red to blue. Oh, oh shit! As he sits there and just goes like, <laughs> oh, "What's dude. going on? What's going on?" Oh. And he's, is there something? Is there up. something around for him to bite and like let it out? Do I have to look around for something, or there's steel? There's box. a growl. Uh, I don't want to bite you. Do it. Do it. You sure? Yeah, do it. Okay. As Growl sees it coming, you just, it's kind of like, what? Because <laughs> I was going <laughs> to see himself. if my glove could take it. That doesn't seem like a good idea. It seems like a very bad idea. We can heal our Pokemon. Alright. Why would you do that? Alright, alright. Bite me! Bite me in the oven mitt! Do it in my I'm ready! Hype my boy up. Alright, bite your brother. Hype him up. <clears throat> hype man. 17. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh no. What do I roll? Bite damage? Fire fang damage. Or fire fang damage. You roll fire fang damage. Okay, so I need 10. Oh shit, isn't it? Oh, it's okay. It's gonna be like a 4. Nope. 7. 7. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, As the fangs goes. just sink into Growl, who lets out another howl, he's like, bruh! Sick. Ow. practice. Ow! You watch as the bite mark just like singes like a bright blue. That's cool. And Growl's fire also begins to like sort of glow. Oh, that's sick. Oh yeah, boy. Now in that rage, tell him to try it again. Yeah, can you try it again? In that yeah. In that moment. Growl, do it again. As he's howling. Control. And blue fire is yeah. building howl up his throat. Howl the blue fire out. Uh, sixteen. Howl the blue. He fire. lets out like an enormous howl, and f- blue flame just sort of spirals out of his mouth. Woo! That's nice. cool. That's really cool. Sick. I'm really glad we got these guys. Yeah. <laughs> these guys are dope. <laughs> Freaking killing it now. She's like, let's let these little ones rest. Yeah, yeah for sure. That was legit, that though. Was They've awesome. definitely done well. Yeah. How about the two of you? What would you like to learn? I just send out Mortar and Evan Rude. And... Uh, well, I, I think Evan Rude has all the moves he's going to learn, but maybe... Uh, power him up a little bit so he can have a bit more damage output. And Mortar, I, I guess I'd just leave that up to you. You're probably the training expert. I don't really know what Mortar could learn. Hmm. Let's see. We could try to make Mortar faster. Alright. Sounds good to me. As for Evanrude, we could perhaps also we make, make him, him more. <laughs> <laughs> we could increase Mark his defenses nine. slightly. Seems a bit fragile. Also sounds good to me. Very well. And how about for you? Um, William and Dumpster. Well, William is, is really good at speed. Nubster's just baller and everything he tries. <laughs> <laughs> so. Have Nubster perma learn ice beam. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could try that. I'll bet I'm down for anything. She goes, we could, we could bolster Nubster's hardiness. Okay. We can work on that. 
Um, as far as Ice Beam, it seems he's learned all he needs to. He just needs practice. Okay. Um, as for William, um, perhaps yep. we could make him slightly more evasive. Oh, nice. I'm in. The dodgy okay. boy. Very okay. well. In order to have this, we'll have a mock battle. Okay. Between your two friends and your two friends. Oh, snap. This is becoming a theme! <laughs> Sweet. Mock. Are you rolling So they're initiative? not really... Are they battling? They're battling, but your goal is not to KO the opponent. Your goal it's is just to, to, practice, just to practice. Do we roll initiative? Yes. Okay. You still roll initiative. Evan Rude's up first. Lord. <laughs> Alright. Uh, have him go for a... Mock wing attack, I guess. Okay. On William. Uh, seven. <laughs> seven misses. Yep. As Evan Rude sees sees William, and just goes. It's amazing. Yeah. It's working already. It's already working. <laughs> and just goes to throw out a wing attack. William just goes. <gasps> and Sophia just goes. Use the sand. And he goes. <laughs> and just throws some sand up, and it kind of like catches the the wind, okay. and just disperses. And William's now like in a cloud of sand. Nice, William. You've cloaked yourself. Sneaky boy. All right, mortar. Uh, mortar is gonna go for a mock punch on Nubsta. Okay. Run away, Nubsta. Ten it will not hit. Ten. As Mortar goes to close the gap, <laughs> Nubster I didn't roll just like this in the gym. <laughs> Nubster just braces himself, and the the punch hits to no effect. It's like punching a steel wall. And Mortar, you watch as he collides, and you guys kind of go ooh, and the Mortar just goes ah. As Nubster's just sort of sat there like a <laughs> steel dome. He's like, so happy to help out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William. Okay, William. Um, stay in the little. Is he in like a sand cloud? Sand cloud? He is, yeah, he's in like okay. a little sand cloud. William, use the little sand cloud to your advantage and do a quick attack from it, and then go straight back into it. Okay. <coughs> he's doing great at the mock Eleven. battle. Eleven. <laughs> nope. As as William, sitting in the sand cloud, leaps out, sees mortar, and just goes. Nope. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Shows back into the cloud. William! <laughs> like That's really quick. Wallace is going up. Huh? Meanwhile, Nubster. Okay. I'm gonna have Nubster try and use the little sand cloud to his advantage, too. Okay. And just shoot some. Well, I guess I could try to do ice beam practice. Okay. Why not? Sure. So we're gonna try. Nubster, we're gonna try and go for an ice beam. Okay, so roll a d20. Nubster. As Nubster tries to coalesce the beam of ice, he is unable to do so. And the little icy shards are just getting caught up in the sand and they're kind of like falling and melting. Alright, All right. top of the round, Evan Root. Uh, top Get of the it, round. Evan Root! Oh, because it didn't hit. Got it. I was going to say it was Mortar because he used Mach Punch, but that's Miss not the me! Alright, so. I'm going to have. I guess we're not dealing damage. Is Evan Root close enough to anyone now that he used Wing Attack? Um, well, he can use wing attack at range. Oh, he can? Mm -hmm. That I did not know. Interesting. Um, so I'll have Evan Root go in and go for a bug bite on Nupster. Bug bite! Uh, 20 on natural. That, that is our first hit in the mock battle. Yeah. So do I still roll damage or no? You do still roll damage. Okay. Alright, Nupster, you're gonna die! Three damage. Three you damage to Nupster. Track. Yes, we are going to keep track. You can still be knocked out. It is a battle. The goal is not to kill each other, but... What was that, It is three? a side effect of battle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, Mortar. It was a weak hit. All right. Uh, mortar is going to try again for a mock punch on um, Vilium. Oh, God. William, you're going to die from this punch. 21. 21. You are at disadvantage because you cannot see William in his sand oh, okay. cloud. I neglected to mention. Uh, 14? 14 still hits. Still hits. Okay. It's not as strong of a hit, but it is there. Oh, wow, okay. So that does 
seven damage and pushes him back five feet. Okay. As Might William's just sort push. of sat in the sand and he's sort of just like brushing his tail, getting the sand out. Um, Mortar just comes in and whack, just right to the gut. And William's like, William. as he's thrown out of the sand cloud. All right. Landing just like on his back. He's like, <laughs> big hit. Yeah, that's, that's half of his health. Uh, but the sand cloud is still there. Sand Cloud is still there, but he is not currently inside. Okay. But Mortar is. Alright. Uh, so, I'm gonna try and... Have, William, you're gonna do a quick attack. You're still gonna use that Sand Cloud, because he's in it. And just surprise hit okay. him. Okay. So you may Jump roll at disadvantage, because your target is in the sand. Okay. Great. Natural one. Okay. <laughs> well, it can't get much worse than that. No so as not. William runs it, he sort of is like... <laughs> God, William. He's got sand all over his face, and he's trying to just like brush it out of his eyes. Look. As he just sort of stumbles into mortar, who's like, "What? Excuse me, buddy." All right, Napster. All right, we're gonna do ice beam on Evan Rude. Oh boy, that's rude. <laughs> no, we're not. Nope. Not they don't want to do this today. <laughs> Napster's just like. Ever no. just dodges it masterfully. Just tries to produce more more ice and just can't quite get there. Gets frustrated and just starts throwing little shards. And oh Everrude just God. like wings just go flat and all the ice shards just go right over it. It's like And then he continues to beat his wings. So now does it go to mortar since he hit Puck Punch? Yes. Okay. And am I a disadvantage or am I in You are at disadvantage if you stay in this in the sand and attempt to attack one. Okay, so I'm gonna have Mortar jump out of the sand and go for a fire punch on Nupster. Okay. 22. Okay. So this will be the first time this is coming to play. You resist fire damage with Nupster. No. Fire and cold. He's got thick fat. Even though he's a blue So <laughs> I that. I give him two of them. Alright. So that I was does like, what? Five damage, so. Two so damage or take, three damage? You take three. We will round up. Okay. Three damage to Nupster. I mean, if the goal is not to take you out, I'm doing a hell of a good job. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a great job of doing, like, mock Nupster, your blubber is coming handy! Yeah. And then Evan Rude's gonna... Is he... Who did he, he, he hit, um... What's his face? Nupster? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna go for a double team and then bug bite Nupster. It won't work this time. Uh, 13. Yeah. Sweet. Three. Ooh, seven damage. Ooh. <laughs> well, yeah. Yep, it's the one base. It's a d12. And one might as well use this one because he's... <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? What's the plan? All right, William, try and make another uh, a sand cloud okay. around Evan Rude, and then I can still do an attack. Yes? Sand attack is your attack. Oh. You could get back into the sand, sand cloud that was originally there that Mortar jumped out of. William is in that sand cloud. Yeah. Oh, he is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then can you he... make a thicker sand cloud? It's more obscure. You can attempt to. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what William was humming as he makes his sand cloud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, so everybody I just do else it. except for Evan Rude needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Because Evan Rude cannot be made to be a disadvantage on the tackle. Ten for mortar. Well, I'm Nubster. Eight. Okay. So Nubster and mortar are currently blinded by sand. Okay. okay. So they're just at disadvantage then? Or? Yes. Okay. Um, and as Evan Rude sees it coming, he just sort of flaps his wings and it keeps the sand out of his eyes. Okay. Still your turn, right? Uh, yeah, it's Nubster's turn now. Mm-hmm. Nubster, who is currently blind. Yeah. Blinded your teammate. Well, maybe that'll help him out. <laughs> Nubster, do an ice shard. 
I'm gonna do it at Evan Root again. Okay, so you are at disadvantage. Yeah. Because you're blinded. And yeah. because of double team. That ain't hidden. Ten. Not quite. Not quite enough. As the ice shards come in once more, just this is just, just kind of just blinded. He just shoots it out, and it actually just floats over, and uh, mortar just sort of melts it with his aura of heat. Okay. Seems par for the course. To mortar. It is to mortar. All right. So he's blinded. So he's gonna go for a mock punch on Nubster blind. Say fourteen. And a 11. So the 11 misses. Yeah. As he runs towards Nubster, who's blinded, Nubster <laughs> just goes and just hears him coming <laughs> and just slides out of the way slightly <laughs> as the punch just lands into the ground. Uh, Nubster Nubster. very occasionally being just super baller. The way he wants to. Yeah. Come on, Nubster, bring it out. I know this is a mock battle, but come on. All right, Evan Root is going to go for a ranged wing attack into the, the sand cloud. Okay. At William? Yeah. Okay. Is that a disadvantage? Um, typically, yes, but you cannot have disadvantage on attack rules. Correct. Okay. So somehow through all the sand, 19. Evan Root is able to see William and just... There is William. <laughs> one strong wing beat actually disperses the sand cloud. Makes sense. Four damage. He's still up. Raised. He's still up. All right, whose turn is it? That was Evan Rude. That would bring us to me. Yeah, that's William's turn. All right, William, no more messing around with the sand. We're gonna go for a quick attack, just straight up. Fifteen or no, thirteen? On who? On Evan Rude. That'll hit. All right. You've made a hit, William! You've done it! <laughs> so Evan Rude hasn't needed. moved. So Evan Rude has double team up. Okay. So I need you to roll again. Here it comes. Here comes a natural fucking one. Seven. So 11. That will miss. 11 miss. <laughs> so he quick attacks one of the fake Yanmas. He does. He manages to collide head on with an illusory Yanma. All right, guys. Well, I need you to bring your A game right now, and you're bringing your D game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nubster. All right, Nubster. What's your plan? No longer a disadvantage, which is good. Yeah. The sand has been dispersed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, let's do... It's an odor sleuth. And then, um, I'm gonna have him just do an ice shard on Evan Rude. Okay, so you gave yourself a advantage. You would be a disadvantage. That's I'll a do straight it. roll. I'll do it on mortar. Okay. So I'm then you have advantage. Yeah. Okay. Screw that. Twelve. So fifteen. Sixteen. Oh, mildly better. Yeah. All right. Sixteen. Here comes that ice shard. Yeah, but mortar because of flame body uh, resist resistance to cold, cold damage. damage. Nubster and mortar are the ultimate combatants. They resist each other. It's perfect. Seven. So I take four. You take four. Oh boy, Nubster finally like clearing the sand <laughs> out of his eyes. Gets a couple good <laughs> blinks and just. Just throws an ice shard, just clocks mortar in the chest, and it just you melts almost it. before it hits him. And you're like, oh man. You've done it. It doesn't you're matter. He's done it. it. <laughs> he made it. He it doesn't it. matter. <laughs> okay, it's to mortar. Yes. Alright, he's gonna try and retaliate on Nubster with a mock punch. Okay. Get out of here! Or is he still at disadvantage? Uh, no, mortar. Did mortar make a attack roll disadvantage? I Does that happen to you? Don't remember. No, I think he did. Okay. Because if he's made an attack roll already, a disadvantage you're clear. It's just the next one. Percentage. Okay, that was a thirteen. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> what is your fucking 
an add addition to that. Plus five. Plus five. Oh, that's why. Jesus Christ. You're like rolling fives and you're still hitting me. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> no, it wasn't rolling five. It was an eight. It was an eight. Oh. Uh, seven damage and pushes Nupster back five feet. Oh, boy. Great. That mock punch thing. This is... mortar comes in again, realizing that fire is not the way to go. Just right between Nupster's eyes. Just one good mock punch. As Nupster just slides back in the... William. All right, William, let's get one hit in before you go down, buddy. Brace yourself. It's coming. But I believe in you. Get one hit in. One good hit. Who are you going for? We're going to go for uh, mortar. Okay. Quick attack. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> is, right, William. is William at advantage because he's in the sand cloud? Or no? No, no, that sand cloud no, is the gone. The sand cloud is dispersed. Oh, okay. It's Got gone. It. Mm -hmm. I'm Clouds. not using these dice anymore. No, it's not. You're probably not a great set of dice to use. I don't know why. Just recently, mm -hmm. it sucked. Okay, Nubsters are going to try to go for another ice beam. Okay. Does this Let's start with the d20? Sleep? There you go. 14. Okay, now you may attempt the ice beam attack. Okay. Oh, so it's two rolls in a row. Come on, buddy! 15! That'll hit. So what's the damage on the ice beam? It is ice shard twice. Got it. That's 2d8 plus 4. 9 plus 4. So 13. 13. And I take... Cut in half would be 7. Okay. Oh <laughs> what happens? As Nubster just sort of holds steady and sees Mortar and is like, you punched me in my face. <laughs> How dare you? Just sort of coalesces the beam, just goes, ah! and just like ice beam, just right out of its eyes. And you're just like, oh my god! And it just like out of collides. Its eyes? Yeah. And it just collides Jesus. right into Mortar, who starts to like freeze over and then just shatters the ice and like readies for round two. Through his or eyes. Or like round seven. Yeah. Damn. It's almost like out of his tears. His eyes. frustrated tears. Alright. Like, why Don't am I frustrated. missing? And then he's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have nothing oh, left, boy. so all okay. you have to do is poke me. And... Uh, Mortar's gonna go for a fire punch on Nubster after the ice beam hit. So it's at disadvantage? Nat 20. Bye, Nubster. Oopsie. See you later. <laughs> oh, God. See you later, oh, Gator. Oh, God. Uh, six, twelve. So he takes six. Yeah. He's dead. Oh no! Knockout dumpster. As mortar breaks out of the ice and just lights up the arm, just bam! One good punch, just right in mortar's face. And, or mortar dumpster, sorry. Punches himself. Right he punched face. himself. <laughs> right in dumpster's face. As dumpster just like, is just like knocked out, thrown onto his back. As Williams like. <gasps> Gosh. So now Evan Root's gonna go in and go for a bug bite on William. Okay. Uh, 14. Mm hmm. Uh, two damage. <laughs> he lives! <laughs> William lives! <laughs> William lives! <laughs> I needed to roll two ones and I did. As Evan Root flies in and goes like, <laughs> and starts nibbling on William. He's like, get off! Get off! Go away! Leave me alone. All right, William. What you got, buddy? All right. You Make gotta, Nubster proud. You gotta crit this. You gotta do a quick attack on mortar. Get the crit and go he out swinging. He just punched out your friend. Get the crit and go down swinging. Nope, nope. it's a five. <laughs> <laughs> William as is just too as William's like batting Evan Root away from his face, he's like, "All right, go, 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 go." In order to leave. Evanrude's sphere of influence to hit Mortar, Evanrude gets an attack on opportunity. Do I just roll damage on that? You roll to hit. Okay. Uh, 12? 12 will hit. Jeez. You may roll damage if you'd like. William has one hit point left. William is raising up a tiny white handkerchief. I'll do it. He's like, I'm good, I'm done! Yeah. Ah! As William goes down, uh, Sophia walks out and just goes, 
Well, that was certainly a certainly a battle. Yeah, it was not pretty on either side. That was oh. was not their best. No. Show. And she goes, I don't mean to say this, but I'm slightly disappointed. Neither of you incorporated what you were supposed to do. What are you talking about? Who's this little sand cloud? I mean, technically, you just told me that we were gonna up Evanrude's defense and mortars something. Speed. Yeah. Well, I don't really know how to how to. I use my hustle a lot. place. <laughs> she just goes. Very well. It's okay. We'll move forward. It's at this point that Doctor Simon Reese emerges and just goes. I thought that was a lovely battle. Thanks, Doctor Simon. <laughs> He's like. In the in the future, have. William aim sand a little bit. Maybe to not hit Nupster. <laughs> that would be my... I assume William would have done that. <laughs> that just seemed like common sense. He seems like a selfish boy. I mean... A selfish boy? Not really. He's. I feel like he's grown a lot being in our group. That's good. In the, in the two weeks we've been together. Yeah. It's like... He kind of mutters under his breath, like... I hate to see him before that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a turd when I first met him. He mostly for just sure. stole shit. Yeah. Should we check the hat? <laughs> Probably. Now that After we leave, though, yeah. I don't want to be pulling out Find that's five true. Golden. stuff in front of people. Yeah, alright, well. Simon Reese just goes, please come back Hello. anytime. Thanks, Simon. It's always a pleasure to, to see you wherever you are. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. <laughs> so, Pokemon Center? Yep. And Sophia just goes, goodbye, CJ. Bye, Sophia! Unless Milo also wants yes. to train Violet. Yes! yes. While we're here. No, I'm ready to go. Give her some brass knuckles. Get them nuts. Brass knuckles. Ba, 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 ba. Pokemon Center. Dominating. Here is Growl. Here is everybody. <laughs> Nurse Joy just goes, full hats. Yeah, Evan Rude didn't take Excellent. damage, so he's he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Does your Pokemon get healed up? Is there anything that you'd like to do in the interim period? Who's Things around? You'd like to discuss? Who's around town? Anybody around? What do you guys? What are you, we were just gonna zant that up. Perception. Yeah. yeah. Anybody? Anybody? Ten. Who are you looking for? People in the Pokemon Center. Oh, you can just you can just look around. Who's I'm around? Pulling, I'm pulling up my list of people who are around. Okay. He's gone um, up the list. <laughs> you see. Oh, my God. No. Oh, finally. You see. No, uh, you don't. <laughs> two gals that look like they're in like a punk rock band. Punk rock band. They've got like skinny jeans and like leather vests on and kind of just like rocking out. One of them is holding um, a guitar case oh, over nice. the shoulder. Nice. Um, you can see a very fancily oh, dressed oh. gentleman oh, who's oh. just sort of. Walking, he's uh, just walking into the building, and he sort of takes off his hat, and he's he's got like a little umbrella slash cane, just like draped over his arm. He just wanders in, and he goes, "Oh, Gentleman. no, there's joy. It's so nice to see you." Richard got into a bit of a scuffle. We need to heal. She goes, "Oh, yes, of course, yes, come." This way. He named his Pokemon uh, Richard. I didn't need to use the Pokemon Center. While they go in, immediately I go around back to see if Monty and Pidgey have left. Uh, you see no sign of Monty. Okay. Nor the Pidgey with the ruffled hair. Alright, cool. They're gone. They're gone. This Pokemon's name is Dick. Yep. Love it. What uh, kind of Pokemon is that? Uh, as he pulls the, the Pokeball out and Nurse Shore releases it, it's a Smeargle. Oh, oh! That's so cool. That's pretty cool. Terrible name for a Smeargle, but pretty cool Pokemon. <laughs> I kind of like it for a Smeargle. I hate it. Richard. <laughs> Signing his name on everything. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> oh, and I should mention Nancy needs a bit of a, a bit of a touch up as well. And he pulls out another Pokeball. It's a Flaffy. <laughs> oh man. Richard and Nancy. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh god. It's like my dream team right there. <laughs> it's you spot. in the future. Uh, yeah. DM's just teasing you at this point. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to the punk rock. <laughs> hey, you guys in a band? Are you punks? Kind of. Kind working of. on it. Working on it? Just a garage band. 
Oh, sick. Is it just you two? Yeah. Uh, hi there, I'm, I'm Bentley. This is my friend CJ. He, he does uh, wrestling shows. I think maybe if you teamed up and did some wrestling with music, that would be pretty cool. We could do that. That'd be cool. I dig it. Who do you wrestle? All my Pokemon. Punkest thing I've ever heard. It's, it's pretty It's pretty rad. It's pretty punk. I've seen it. It's very punk. Rad. <laughs> very punk. Let's get some more money before we leave. What instrument do you play? Sick. She plays bass. I sing. Oh. You guys want to... We're a new sound. Oh, sick. Punk. Punk sound? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have Pokemon? Of course you have Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Naturally. One of them says, I have a Magnemite. And the oh. other says, I have a Boltorb. Oh, okay. And they charge our amps and our speakers. Nice. Smart. Dope. Nice. Maybe they could help mortar. That makes sense. What? What are you sing about? <laughs> Mostly <laughs> corruption in the city. Yeah. How the world's broken. Corruption in this city? Sounds pretty common. Yeah. What's, what's, uh, what specifically? You know, it's just, just everything's corrupt. Oh, Are you guys give us a, give us a quick verse. <laughs> no. Scream sing a song right now. <laughs> Drop some I bad hate the mayor! His stupid hair! <laughs> it's orange! That's where I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> quick break. Rich, it sucks! Dude, you should sing that for them. That oh guy God. is a pompous jerk. <laughs> Richard sucks, and the old man is just like, oh, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Richard's a perfect gentleman. He's a perfect gentleman smeagol. How dare you? <laughs> he doesn't have the beret hat. It's a fedora hat. And you're like, oh, God. What are you guys' names? <clears throat> it's like, that's Ava. I'm Amelia. Petelia? I think uh, maybe we should uh, put on a little show <laughs> with uh, wrestling plus music, yeah? Those are some punk names. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. Dude, it's how old are they? how old are you guys? What? They they look like they're in their like mid twenties. So. <laughs> <laughs> is that a weird question? We always just ask the weirdest questions. <laughs> <of people. laughs> I'm operating do from us? I'm operating from the standpoint that I'm 12, 13 years old. That's what 12 and 13 year olds do to adults constantly. Holy That's fair. Literally constantly. How old are you? You're old. For real, though. How old are you? How old do you think I am? 35? Really? <laughs> I have no concept of age. <laughs> oh, boy. CJ. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but you seem like you want to leave. We should probably just go. I'm ready to go. All right. But probably just whatever roll. you guys want to do. I mean... I'm down for whatever. You guys are pretty rad. So, thanks. She hands you a little leather, like, bracelet. Uh, and it's like, here, sick. for your next show. Oh, thanks. I'll definitely wear this. <laughs> Does it say anything? Is it just a little piece it's of leather? Just like a, it's like a little piece of leather with, like, some little metal studs on it. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. I'm a badass. Metal, now. bro. It's so so crazy. sick. So, so punk. <laughs> Nurse Joy comes out to each of you individually and hands you your respective teammates. Ooh, okay. Ooh. <sighs> You're healed! Should we get out of here? Yep. Yeah. Alright. All right. Let's do it. We head north to the exit towards Santa. Okay. On your way out, you okay. see Xavier, who's oh. currently. Uh, looks like he's painting something. He's got like he's a little, a little like sketch pad and like a paintbrush. And he's just like going over. But you can't really see what he's doing. Xavier! What's up, dude? It's like, oh, hey, man. What are you painting? I'm um, trying to paint your wrestling show. <laughs> oh, no way. And he turns it around and it's like, it looks like a Rorschach painting. You're just like, oh, thanks. <laughs> that could He's like, see, this is you more. right here tackling Crash. Oh, okay. And then, like, here's your hound door. It's like, leaping in. Sick. Well, gotcha, bro. And then here's the man coming to break up your show. Because they always got to do that, you know? Stupid jerks. Hey, if you're headed to Watalonga, Ooh. just remember, no catching the Pokemons. Yeah. No catching the Pokemon? Is that uh, the nature preserve? Did you get in trouble for that? No. No. But they're cracking down on it lately. 
A lot of lot of kids going out there trying to catch Pokemon. There's some strong stuff out there. Like an electabuzz. Oh. Resist the temptation. Interesting. Okay. A buddy of mine went out there the other day, saw a big toad. Was like, I gotta catch that. Dude's in jail right now. Whoa. Yeah. So watch yourselves out there. Will They're do. always watching. Yeah, that makes That's, sense. I've I mean, heard that multiple times. They are always, always watching. Always watching. Hero of Discovery is here, so... Yeah, no kidding. And yet they're fine with, dude, selling Pokemon on the black market. Alright. Anywho. We're always watching. Alright. We set cool. off. We're out, out yeah. the wild like here. again. Take it with you. The painting? He hands you the painting. Nice. Thanks, man. This is. I'm glad that I inspired you. He's like, art is everywhere, dude. Respect. <laughs> Here's a nice, crisp high five. <laughs> What's Sick. that? Sick, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, stay aware, man. You got a good head on your shoulders. Keep these ones out of trouble. <laughs> Always got you. Oh, Later, Xavier. And we're off. Booyah. Next as, you, we... as you turn to leave, you see that same little ghost Pokemon behind him. It just goes... Bye. kind of waves to you. It's Fun. creepy, but it's also really cool. <laughs> Cute. So we're setting off late afternoon. Getting a start out there. Um, setting off into late afternoon. Do one of you twos want to see if there's any Pokemons around that you might want to have? Yeah, I'll check for the Pokemon. Right out of the gate. Yeah, why not? Are we both checking? Okay. Phoebe doesn't want to. We walked. I look left, you look we right. Okay. Seven hours. Looking to the right. It's not to the right. <laughs> we step outside the city. What kind of check? Perceptions. Perceptions. Perception. 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 You guys doing this just right outside? No, we've walked for a bit okay. onto the route. Okay. I rolled a seven, so it's not going to matter. I rolled an 18. Okay. <laughs> Phoebes, as you're walking, the sun's starting to go down, and you catch just the slightest glimpse of like a red boulder. Oh. A red boulder? Oh. Yeah. There's like a pile of rocks off to the side oh. of the road. Okay. And there's like a little red rock that's sort of like behind those, and you're just like. It's like a bright crimson. This has really tested my Pokemon knowledge because when he does the descriptions like this, I have no fucking idea what he's talking about. It's fantastic. I love it. A crimson rock. Does Bentley see that anything? That doesn't with his look seven? right. What do you think it is? Uh, Bentley sees know. the pile of boulders, but nothing let's go. Cool. untoward. All right, let's go check it out. What do you see? It's a funky looking boulder. All right. Yeah. Doesn't look right. All right. Get after it. Are you just gonna like walk up to it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Pokemon out or no? Uh, yeah, I'll send out William and Dumpster. Okay. As they emerge, William just sort of like scampers up the rock and looks down, and you can see it's a little red, like, oval almost. And there's like five or six little white uh, rimmed holes all the way around. And as William just sort of looks down, this little like noodle head pops up and goes, Whoa! And <laughs> William's like, Gee, no! No, it just scampers back to you. <laughs> That's amazing. Fantastic. It's a, what's his face? It's a shuckle. Yeah. Shucky boy. A little noodle. As it sees that you've sort of seen it, it sort of pops all the noodles out and just sort of like starts flailing and like wiggling away from you guys. It's running away from us? <laughs> yeah. Very slowly. Wait, it's like come weird. back. Come back, you weird noodle. <laughs> you weird noodle. <laughs> I'm gonna battle that if you don't. Alright, I'm gonna have Nubster do a ice shard. Okay. Stop! Here we go! Shucky boy! To hit! 15. As Nubster sh just fires up an ice shard, it lands just right in the back of the shuckle and just shatters completely. And he just keeps going. He's like, oh! He does not get I only have water Pokeball, though. I don't think I want to risk just throwing it. Shucky boy! Oh, you want to catch it? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Get that shucky boy! I want that noodle boy. <laughs> noodle boy? Noodle boy! Uh, Phoebe, do you want me to send out mortar and help you out? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna have uh, William try to blind noodle this uh, chuckle. Okay. <laughs> William, I want you to aim your sand attack directly into his eyes, his noodly eyes. Okay, so he needs to make a dexterity save. Okay. William? No, chuckle. Oh. Chuckle. 
I can't imagine it's very dangerous. <laughs> the Shucky Boy. Oh my god, he succeeded. Noodle Boy! Noodle Boy! Oh, 13. Noodle Boy. The 13, yeah. as the sand comes out, he just goes, Loop! And just like ducks his head inside, and the sand just goes overhead, and he just keeps wiggling forward, and you can see like two little eyes are just like peeking like a little out. tank. Noodle Boy! Alright, Bentley just yells at more. Mora, go for a mock punch! Okay. Go for it. Uh, 22. 22 Jesus hits. Christ. Thank God. Let's go ahead and roll damage. Yep. Smash that shell. Uh, nine. Nine, okay. As. Oh, wait, no, I rolled the wrong thing. That was no. my bad. Okay. I went for mock punch. No worries. Uh, four. Four, okay. Right. Significant. As, right. as, as you close Sorry. the <laughs> As you Still. close the gap, the mock punch just collides, and once again, Mortar's just like. Ah, and one of the claws is actually like bent inwards. This is Shucky like, boy! Ah. Noodle boy! He sort of swings. Noodle boy. As the shuckle just spins around, it goes, Ooh! and it it just sort of like whips into random mortar's face. Oh, oh, thank God, his body. Limbs. With a 23 to hit. Holy hell, Hit yeah. like a beast. Hit like a beast. Playing that body. noodle slap is you sick. Take seven points of bug. Woo! God. From the struggle bug. And he takes two from the flame body. Okay. Noodle slap. You watch as as he slaps, um, he can feel the heat coming off, and he just goes whoosh, and he's just super quick, and it burns like the tip of the tentacle, and you watch as it just heals over, and he just like whips it out. This like, thing is like inside. pervious cool. to everything. Cool. This thing's awesome. Defense boy. I want you to catch it. So, so go ahead, Aww. at this point, go ahead and roll initiative for all involved parties. Okay. Anybody that wants to be involved in this fight. Be involved. Do you want any additional help? Yeah. Okay. Whoever wants to help out. Get him, Violet. Just As well. Shuckle just sort of turns around and whips into mortar. Look at that. It's um, let's see. I need. <laughs> so bad. Next up, we'll just How are you so <laughs> good at this? <laughs> what the heck? Man? Fuck, man. That is a 22 hey. to hit mortar. Hey. Yep. Come down, children. Rock go. throw. <laughs> That is 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Woo! As Shuckle just reaches out, wraps its arm around a, a boulder, and just wings it towards Mortar, who's, we have who's three still like. Days of travel still. Who's still like, it's kind like of like hour-y. nursing his hand. As the boulder just comes in, he goes, whack! And it just knocks Mortar off his feet. God damn. Like, oh. Oh. And that doesn't do Flame Body. That does not do Flame Body. Flame daddy. It's a boulder. Flame daddy. Yeah. Flame daddy. All right, well, Mortar has three HP now. So. Whoa! Good lord. Shuckle. See you right, Nubster. Get to Xanthum, Nubster. <laughs> We're going for... Well, if we do a long rest, the Pokemon Ice beam. Yes, are fine, so we'll just sleep tonight. If they, are, if they are conscious and out of the Pokeball, they will heal when they, when they rest. Ice beam. But if they are at, like, zero or below, they're in trouble. Seven, not Ice okay, Beam. Okay, so no Ice Beam. No Ice Beam from the, the Nubster. Yay. This Nubster just attempts Sorry. to get an ice beam going. He just see he watches the the boulder just clock into mortar and just goes, I can't take one of those. And the ice beam just sort of like just falls and shatters in front of him. Alright, alright. Alright, Violet. Shucky boy. Alright, let's Help go out. for it. Shucky boy. Help out, Violet. Comet punch. Noodle boy. Yeah. We're gonna do two hits. <laughs> great. Not great. For a 13 to hit, okay. and an 18 to hit. One hit. What? Let's go! Two damage. Two damage. Okay. Shucky boy is beast! Shucky boy. Gonna break Ladybug's hand not by punching him. Already, like, you can tell, not a big hit. Yeah. But you watch as Shuckle takes even less damage than you would expect. Ridiculous. Maybe. Because Shuckle Boy is will beast. appreciate this fight. Mortar! Very, and he'll just join the team. Shuckle's an absolute <sighs> monster. All right, Mortar is going to go for a fire punch. Get it, get it, Mortar. Ten. You're going to be here a while. Ten? Ten misses. Yep. <laughs> as Mortar goes in front of the Lord. punch, he sort Lord, of like holds back, nothing. looking at his hand where the claw's still kind of dented in, and he's like... Mm. Not. So I should be Maybe not gonna punch. William! William is gonna try to do another sand attack to the eyeballs. Okay. Da, 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 da. Good lord. 14. He's a minus to dexterity. Ow. Have the dice. Shucky boy! Them. Shucky boy! This is one of those things where like, I feel like you encounter these things and they're just absolute beasts and you catch them and they'll never reproduce them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Results. Like Spud and Pop. So You're like, like there's no chance. Yeah! yeah. Spongebob would be great. 
All right. Shuckle's turn. Shuckle. As he, as he turns friend. around, um, he sort of recedes his head into the shell, and I need Nubster, Violet, Mortar, and William to make a dexterity saving throw. Shucky boy! A ten. Nineteen. Okay. Succeed. Fail. Uh, Thirteen for Nubster, and then six for William. So Nubster and Mortar succeed. Okay. Violet and William, your next attack deals half damage. Oh, dang. It's fine. (laughs) Oh, dang. (laughs) Nubster. Okay, Nubster, we're going for another ice beam. Do it up, bro! How do you keep rolling that's so not, low? That's I don't not know. Doing. I don't that's know. Not, that's not doing. Ow. Shucky boy. As Nubster again goes for an ice beam, he looks over and sees William just covered in goo. And he's like, oh, God. Ew. Did William get covered in goo? From the, the gastro acid. Oh. Okay. From the shucky boy. He dodge it. Yes. I see, I he, see. He failed to dodge the acid. Okay. All right. Violet. All right. Comic punch, three hits. Three hits. Coming in. Coming in. Let's go by. Nope. Nope. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Miss yeah. all three? Miss Nothing. All three. <laughs> Nothing. God. What is happening? Damn it, Violet. <laughs> Two fours and a five. Two fours and a five. What's happening? As, as Violet comes in for three quick punches, you are just, you just sort of like, ha, ha, has to kind of shake it out. You're watching. This shell seems incredibly durable. Yeah, it does. All right, Shucky boy. Uh, how big is it? How big is Shuckle? Yeah, probably like three feet around at the at the widest point. Dang it! Okay. And then the noodles. I was gonna see if Violet could pick him up and just take him like bird tactics and like oh, drop that'd be him. Oh, that legit. <laughs> just drop. The shit. Yeah. Drop that stupid bug. Just concoct him inside points of that shell. Damage. Hey. Yeah. You guys aren't doing very good. You need some help? Like, clearly yeah. it's not yes. working. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to, I'm trying something balls. different, but he seems a little too big for Violet to carry. Can I, can I throw Crash into the initiative order? Yeah. Go ahead and roll him in. Get in there, Crash. Crash is at a three. Jesus Christ, Crash. crash. All right, Bentley's also going to throw out Evan Rude. Okay. Can I do that? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. So I don't even have to change. Yeah, we just. We just order. Drop that just in. Crash uh, every kind of makes sense, I guess. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh my We're gonna word. be here for two hours. All right, longer than the Armaldo fight. Okay, Who's Mortar true? is again gonna go for a fire punch. Get it, Mortar. <laughs> Ten again. Good <laughs> lord! What? Mortar's just Sorry. in his own head at this Leave point. He's alone. afraid to punch the shuckle. Yeah. I'm just saying everybody is just get rolling. Get Mortar, it. come on. We need you to hit the thing. All right, William. I know it hurts. William. Figure it out. Sand attack. Eyeballs. You can do it. Also, roll in some sand and get that goo off. There you go. Throw some sand, like, in his shell. Oh, I'm just that? having him try to aim. He oh. failed the save. Shuckle's oh. at disadvantage on his next attack. Sick. Nice. Good job, William. Whoop, 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 whoop. And now the goo right, has been tamped. Hey, Crashy Boy! Because you have not made an attack. JK. Crashy Boy is going to try and soup up and get the uh, water bite turtle thing working. Okay. Nice. So roll, roll that constitution check. Yeah! What is that? Is it plus my constitution? Yes. Uh, it's, it's not going to work. It's an eight. Eight. Yes, eight is not enough. As... Crash is trying to summon the water. It's very dry out here. It's very dry and it's very hot. Yep. And he's just sort of like... Scrappy. Well parched. All right, Evan Rude. Evan right. Rude. Evan Rude's going to activate double team and Evan then Rude. go for a ranged wing attack. Okay. Evan Rude. Rude boy. Nope. 11. 11 is not enough. Of course it's not. Because Evan Rude just sits there. I'm and puts sorry. Up the, <laughs> puts up the evasive tactics. And throws out a wing attack. <laughs> this shuckle is just surrounded just by Pokemon. Into and the nothing's shell. Yeah, it just the goes in the buckets. shell. Just hit, takes every attack off the shell. Right. Like it's nothing. Shuckle is at disadvantage on his next attack. He's yeah. going for struggle by go. Yeah, oh, yeah. shuckle from here on out. Do it. Um, you had a disadvantage. It shuckle. will likely be on William, as William is the one who's throwing sand. So that is a that is a nineteen and a seventeen. So the seventeen will. <laughs> My God. William takes 
six points of bug damage. Oh Ooh. my god. That's a buggy boy. And Shuckle just like reaches out with two tentacles and just claps his ears. And the, shuck the Shuckle's just sort of sat there as William's like, uh, sort of reeling from the head. We have to get you to catch this thing. <laughs> it's such a beast. All right, Nubster. Uh, all right, Nubster, let's just do a nice shard here, buddy. No. Or not. Oh, no. As the ice <laughs> once again just ricochets off the, the shell of the Shuckle. Nice. Is no. Shuckle too big to lift for Violet? Uh, it would require an immensely high strength check. Okay, so screw that then. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have Violet get on top of the shell and using like two arms just try to hold two of its tentacles. Okay, so like, I want to try to grapple okay. two of his tentacles. So make a strength check. Just trying right. anything different Contested here. Contested by the shuckled strength. Eighteen. Nine. Nice. So you currently have it grappled. Out of way, Violet. So, Gotta just get crazy. like two of the, the legs? What does focus energy do? Uh, I get plus two to my uh, roll to hit on my common punches. But I'm, okay. I'm ditching gotcha. that right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, mortar. Got Violet grappling the shuckle. All right, well, here's hoping that so Fire Punch finally hits. Attacks. Oh, I do? Yeah, because I'm grappling him. 15. I've got his legs out, so they're easy 22. to hit. 22. 22 hits. Thank God. Nine damage. Oh, nice. Okay. As Mortar seizes opening and just comes in with, like, a solid Fire Punch right to the gut, uh, Shuckle just recedes back into the shell. And then when the danger is averted, he kind of like brings his little head back out. Doesn't seem to do nearly as much damage as you were on. Ah, damn. Who's turn? All right, William. Uh, William, boy. William, let's, let's try to go for a quick attack. Okay. Can Phoebe insert herself at any time to like try and catch this thing? Potentially. I have a plan for Nubster. Because I feel like it's going to take us 800 years to yeah. whittle this thing down to no health. And Do I have to... Is he still... Would I have to do another stand attack to put him at yes. disadvantage? <laughs> He's at disadvantage Blinded. until his next attack. So saying, but once Sonic. he makes it... <laughs> but, but he did do that already. Did that already. <laughs> okay, so let's just try... We're going to try and blind him again. Okay, so next there you save. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is a 5, but I need Violet to also make it. Because Violet is grappling him. It is as such a... 15. 15, yeah, 16. You do. Sweet! Violet! So the shuckle is blinded and grappled. Cool. Violet, Violet. Double advantage. Nice you turn. get to roll four times. <laughs> I asked that during the gym battle. <laughs> four dice! Because I had double... One, up ten, thirteen, nineteen. Oh. Mm. Um, is it me now? Whose turn? It is now... Let's see, that was William, so there's no yeah. crash. Are there any trees around? There are no trees around. You guys are on like Just a, like rocks? Yeah, yeah it's like a savanna kind of. Yeah. Son of it's a just rock. some tall grass and some rocks. Son, Son of a rock! Of a monkey. Get some twigs, stick them in a shell, light them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Smoke them out. <laughs> Get them out of that shell. Yeah. I'm coming up with things Smoke them out, smoke them out. <laughs> Crashes getting more hype now he's gonna go for the water thing again okay get hype come on crash oh god what is every that? time with you in the corner natural 20 oh. there you go oh. step one uh i still have to okay. roll it you still have to roll the hit hit heck yeah dude super water come on <laughs> that's a 23 let's nice. go crash okay go ahead and roll your damage what is it again bite twice bite twice okay so there's six damage there, and <laughs> uh, four there, so it's okay. ten total, but twenty because it crit. No, he. No, that's the on crit my is just that to get my... that to happen. Uh, so as as Crash leaps up and becomes this giant water snapping turtle, the water just breaks like a wave over the shuckle. Nothing. Seems totally fine. Yeah, that's shuckle, right. quit shuckling about. Shucky boy. Those were not good at rolls. Evan Rude. Okay, so. It worked. Question. Mm -hmm. Can Evan Rude 
instead of moving, use compound eyes and do a perception check to see if there's any like weak point he can go for to like target his next attack. Yeah. Okay. Noise. Uh, what would perception be for the Pokemon? Uh, wisdom. With wisdom. What? Okay. Five. You found. Probably the noodly bits. Yeah. <laughs> All right, wing attack at range. Let's go. Nope. Misses again. Oh boy. Okay. As Evan Rude. <laughs> With a blinded Sorry. and advantage. Again. advantage. He's blinded and grappled. Oh. Shucky As I'm talking boy. myself through, somehow you miss, I realize. Shucky boy. No, still miss. Still miss. Okay. 14. So Shucky somehow. 14 is not enough. 14, 14 is not enough. Oh, yeah. shit. So somehow, Shuckle. some way, the grappled and blinded chuckle as the wing attack comes in, just goes, just feels the wind coming and just like dodges out of the way as Violet is almost like blown up. So like hold, hold the top. Stay on the grapple. For Shuckle's turn, it's going to be a struggly bug. Towards Violet. Oh, okay. That is a 21 or a 15. 15 is lower, yeah. 15 is lower? Mm -hmm. That hits. (laughs) Those amber dice are beast! Uh, That is five points of bug damage. Oh boy. To Violet. Bug on bug action. Getting buggy in here. Let's get buggy. Get buggy with it. All right. Nubster. Okay, Nubster is going to use Ice Shard, but to try to, like, pan all his little noodly bits. Okay. Like, so freeze them to the ground. Ice Shard. Like shard. Immobilize like him. So, yeah. so Violet's, like, shots. holding two of them, and he yeah. still has two little noodles? That He's got is at least two and his little head noodle. Right. Okay. See, so what you're I'm trying saying to... is you go up to the shell and just ice shard into the head hole. Like freeze the interior of his shell? Yeah. Freeze him out! I mean, okay. good I luck. Break I mean, yeah, in theory, but you probably have to roll a 20 to do that. Whatever you want, but if... Because I'm figuring, I wonder if I, could, if I could just pin him and make him stuck to the ground. Try and catch him. Yeah, then if you without, lose like, your grapple, whittle. he's still, like... Just freeze him solid entirely and then try to catch him. <laughs> I need to get, like, a... Crit. Right on my ice beam. Right, well, do, it. Ice do it. Do it. Do it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do an odor sleuth. What are you doing? Just smell him. <laughs> You've already got it in. He <laughs> smells like a bone. Yeah. I'm going to try to pin down his okay. arms. Do odor sleuth. Freeze slow. him over. Do odor sleuth. That's a noodle bar. So why? He gets advantage. He has it. You drop ice beam. Oh. Um, ice shard. Yeah. It's too late now. Yeah. So 17. Okay. 17. <laughs> but I'm trying to really hits. Oh. It, but it did. It did. So is roll he pinned? You can roll, roll again. Your damage. Doing damage. You can roll again. Yes. Yes. Don't Your advantage. Was that your second roll? Roll for grit. Roll, roll for grit. Roll for grit. What? Oh uh, my gosh. You got a crit. Uh, uh, Critical fail. <laughs> okay. All right. So go ahead and roll your damage. Eight. Eight. Okay. This thing is resilient, wily, and noodly. Yeah. As you but mostly noodly. As Nubster goes for ice shards to try to pin down one of its limbs. Yeah. It sort of freezes it in place. Uh huh. And then it just breaks it off the ground and it now has a frozen tentacle. Oh sort of snap! Ground. It's got like a, its own oh. mace. It's gonna get extra <laughs> hit points to freeze like damage. Ice us. spikes on it. And he's just like whoosh. Alright, by that. Are you are you looking to maintain your grapple? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I guess I'll try to freeze over of the interior else. of his shell next time. So if she loses the if grapple, does she night. also get I'll to attack? Uh, mm, an eight. Oh, oh, I got another nine. I I, have, I rolled a nine as well, but I have a negative one <sighs> modifier. I rolled an eight and I have a plus one. Oh, that's <laughs> rough. I'll try to. So, jump. as as Shuckle just reaches up with the frozen tentacle and just. Bats Violet off its head. Um, it is no longer grappled. Okay. All right, Mortar. Okay. Oh, it's Mortar's turn. Get a Mori. So no Morty. longer grappled, so no longer at advantage. But Correct. Fire punch. Here we go. Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Thank God. Get in there, Mortar. Do something. Punches noodle head. Uh, ooh, twelve. Getting closer. All right. Big big hit. But not quite enough. 
as Shuckles just sort of sat there just eyeing this massive crowd of Pokemon that's around it. Um, and Mortar just comes in and just goes to punch him in the face. He sort of like starts to recede and you clock him right in the side of the head. Right in his noodle. He's kind of like, ah. Shucky boy. Sort of, shake, sort of shakes it off. All right, William. Billy B. Billy Yam, Billy Yam. Billy Yam. Oh, I'm just kidding. Just the dissolve it. Piece of that yeah. ever. Just dissolve it and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Yam, go for the noodly bits. Quick attack. All right. Quick you're faster than his noodly bits. Quick attack the ice on his. Nope. No, you're not. I'll do it. Sir. Mm, boy. All uh, right. Lay As William lay. leaps in for the noodly bits, he's just sort of like hanging on to one, and it just sort of flails. He's like, ah! He ah! He just gets hands. flung off. Oh, right. Jk. All right, Crash. Uh, Crash is gonna go for a bite. Try to grab onto his his noodly. Noodly neck. Okay. Get wow. him a noodly neck. Crash wants spaghetti. He wants some spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti. That is a 19 to hit. 19 hits. Let's Come go. on, Woo! Crash. Try to grapple on there. Don't let go. That is Ooh. nine points of damage. Very nice. Woo. Okay. As Crash leaps in, he actually does sink his jaws around the neck of yes. the shuckle, who yes. then just recedes and, like, Almost like like a wet noodle, just like right through oh, Crash's jaws. Damn it! And just recedes as Crash just closes his jaws in front of the head, and he's like looking what? into the hole. And just sees the struggle, and just like, and he kind of like jumps back for a second. Back. Evan Roo. All right, Evan Roo's gonna try and concentrate a gust of a wing attack into one of those holes in the shell. Okay. So he can't nope. avoid it. Well, yes, he can. Oh my gosh. Evan Roo is. Being terrible right now. <laughs> this is quite as, the Shucky boy. As the wing attack comes out again, Shuckle just holds up two little tentacles and just goes, Ooh, just blocks his face. <sighs> otherwise Make okay. A, a spaghetti. Shuckle reaches out, grabs a boulder, and is aiming for Mortar. Oh my god. Mortar's this is go the now. end, boys. As Mortar is like still kind of like reeling right in front of him, he's like <laughs> holding himself up. The boulder just comes down right on top of his head. Just Crack with a 19 to hit. Oh, oh no. By murder. By murder. Uh, that is murdered. What, nine <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Bye. Mortar's done. Mortar is down. Frick. And then there is the flame body. With a rock throw? Yeah, he doesn't throw it, he uses it as a hammer. Oh, okay. The god. It radiates through. So <laughs> one. That was not a good way to go out, Mortar. As yeah, as no, Mortar's no, just no. sat there as the boulder comes down, he just poof, just like flattens like into the earth and there's just a boulder sat on top. Oh my god. We're gonna have to move that to get him. <laughs> and well Bentley will call him back. Yeah, as you do it the Pokeball kinda like snakes its way under the, the boulder and is like <laughs> <laughs> just he's wild gets him out of there. Just ruining us like They're beasts. All right, Nubster. All right, Nubster, I'm going to try to have you oh, aim a so ice beam so into the Bibbly. shell. Freeze the interior of the shell. So we'll go for an ice Sorry, beam. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Woo! You succeeded. Done it, Nubster. Now you just have to hit. Ice beam. Yeah, Good right. luck. You can do this. Yes. Yeah! That'll do. Ho, 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 ho! Coming in, buddy. <laughs> what, what a bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Five, eight, plus four. Twelve. Twelve. Five, eight, plus four. Someday you'll know how close you were. Um, as Nubster comes in for an ice beam and just starts to solidify the shuckle, it just pulls all its arms in and then bursts them back out and shatters the ice. Looks like it's going through. Oh my god! <laughs> Can we please? Alright, Violet. Punch it! Turn Violet! Violet! All right. I'll have uh, Nubster make a little ice. Ice fist? Ice fist for you. Oh, that's sick. Can that's we do that? Idea. Can I just try to be in sync? Well, I mean, like, because no, technically Nubster just went, so I'm saying, like, but the you ice is coming in. And see yeah. it going and yeah. try to fly so, through. Violet, try to stick your arms in and freeze them up, your hands, and then as you punch, they'll break, so don't worry about it. <laughs> So just stick your hands in, 
Get your hands froze. And now here comes some misses. Focus energy while it happens to, oh, nice. to mitigate some damage. <laughs> nice. Not that that would happen. And then flurry into some combo punches. Nice. That's sure. That's a lot. <laughs> so sure. just making a combo punch attack here. We're making a comeback. Two hits. All right. Punch it. Not hitting. Oh, 12 and a 10. I thought you had advantage on this. I don't. But what do you grab? He's not grappled anymore. Violet was the one that was grappling. No, I thought that was with focus energy. Focus mm -hmm. energy adds no, plus two to my two. hit. To oh. Hit. It's not it's a, still not enough. Well, <laughs> no, no. Now you just got some ice on your hands. Violet like, comes in with like can try next frozen time. fists and is just clocking into them. It looks like it's doing even less because the fists are just sort of glancing off the, uh, the shell. So it hard. Really William's turn now. Philly boy! William! William, put him in your hat. <laughs> Collecting. William, critical stake time. I have some pebbles. Um, I'm on the William pulls a grenade out of his hat. Pulls the pin out. He's gonna go for a quick attack once again. <laughs> Uh, it looks wow. like it's still going strong. <laughs> <laughs> we put a grenade in its shell. What? He's going for a noodly bit. Quick attack. Ooh, ooh. William collides headfirst with the shell, going for a noodly bit. As it just pulls the arm inside, he just clocks right in, right into the shell. Grab the noodly bit, William. Crash. Crash is ready to be done with this. He's going for another turtle thing. Okay. He thinks it's going to work this time. Turtle turtle. Crash to a turtle thing. Nope, he's not gonna do the turtle and thing. And nope. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, no. That didn't work. We're gonna be doing this oh, no. forever. <laughs> All right, Evan Rude. All right, Evan Rude. As, as Crash fails going, to summon the water, he's gonna abandon the long range attacks and he's gonna fly in and go for a bug bite. I feel like okay. we just let Noodle live. We're just trying. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen, 16 to is exactly what you need. Oh. I only have one Pokeball. We'll see after this. Maybe Ben will do it. Never mind. Five damage. Yeah. Never mind. As as Evanrude flies up and just sort of bites onto the back of one of Shuckle's legs, he just sort of Whoa! just sort of like flails him off and pulls the arm back inside. Seems to do a little bit. Is he looking even slightly? He's looking a little harried, but otherwise harried. he's okay. You should check William's hat to see if he's still holding Pokeballs. <laughs> he's mildly annoyed. I should. Incoming rock throw. Violet. Oh god. That is a 16. Oh boy. <laughs> that is 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Wow, it's done. Bye bye. Bye bye. Should I just try to catch it? Mushed by Rock's team. Go for it. I wonder what the catch rate is at this point. We'll find out. <laughs> Can I do like a Pokemon hand wing and be like, hey. <laughs> Sorry hey, for hey, the time. Hey, We're friends. <laughs> no, I mean, you've done a great job. You can make a Pokemon handling check at disadvantage because you are in combat with the creature. Okay. It's typically not a great way to start a conversation. That's fair. Ice beam! No! <laughs> Kill him! I want him on my team! Wow! Let's be friends! Do you just want to join me now? I'm, I'm letting him know that I admire his abilities. We've been like off more than we could shoot. Shucky boy, you're so nice. Woo! Yeah, we're all again here. You're at disadvantage. No! Do it again! Do it again! You can do it, I believe. <laughs> you didn't do it. <laughs> Oh my god. Naya! As you're just about there, you're like, come on, it's okay. Just just join the team. Nubster's like, yeah! Just goes in for an ice shard and just clocks him in the side. And Chuckle's like, woo! And just looks at you and just looks so betrayed. I didn't do like, anything. Oh. I didn't tell Nubster to do that. It is, however. Nubster, you tig. <laughs> Trying to talk to this chuckle. Nubster, you titty. It is Nubster's turn, however. So from the get you titty. Well, I didn't know this thing was going to be a monster. It was running away, too. Not that it... I can't imagine it's very fast, but... It's really yeah, it's not like that freaking Marie. Marie yeah. Climbing yeah. mountains at an insane speed. It's got a climb speed. I'm just saying, like, from now it's on, when we see a wild Pokemon, we shouldn't just attack it from the get -go. Just catch it. It's it's just, it was starting to be like run. Pseudo Udo. You don't attack that. No. It's, it's, it's a treat. But Pseudo Udo was friendly. Shuckle was yes. like. Well, no, no. He, he was hiding, really and then William went up and, like, provoked him on the rock. Okay, well, what if we stop attacking him? 
It's just gonna run. You can try. Mine are dead anyway. <laughs> Crash is fine. He's just a little pissed. Evan Rude's only hit once this entire battle, so I'm sure he's fine. It's Nubster's turn. Right. Spell him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna have him attack. Okay. I'm gonna have him like stand down and be like, "Hey." You should just call back. Hold the, the attack! Okay. Hold! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can you pull pull yeah. Napster back? This doesn't seem to be going well. Okay. It's William's turn. I'm gonna pull back William too. Okay. Crash. Is this your wish? Yeah. I will abide. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Go, your Crash! Wish? Crash, Damn settle it. down! <laughs> Crash just looks at you and is like, oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. We're doing it for Phoebe. He's not for you. He stomps back to you. He's like, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Bentley just looks around and calls back Evan Rude. Okay. On the Shuckle's turn, he just sort of recedes into the shell. Okay. Now's your chance. Go, go for it, go for it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I can... Are you gonna like go pet him or talk to him? Or? Oh, I'm gonna go offer him a berry. Okay, Interesting. Yeah. Be like, hey, good fight, man. Here's yeah. a morning berry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good fight, bro. Here's a chillin' berry. Psych! Kill him, boys! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So, are you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Give it to him. Give what? Pokemon him? Yeah, I'm gonna go a little okay. closer. So Still this advantage. Why? You started a fight. Bro, don't be like that, bro! Bro, don't be like that, bro. Here comes the I was an unnatural roll. 20, and that was an 11. <laughs> That's not awful. As you walk up holding a berry in the typical Phoebe awkwardness, you're just like, Hi! Here's a berry! And it just sort of, like, pokes his head out at you, and is like... But he knows what a berry is. He's not attacking. <laughs> He's just squinting at me. Just <laughs> try and catch it. Alright, I'm gonna try and catch him. Okay. Which Just which ones are they be? Two one hundred. Here you go. I need to grow a bowl. I only have one. I got you. I don't have any, so I can't. Ah! That's not gonna do it. What'd you do? Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six is not enough for an unconscious Pokemon to be captured, let alone a conscious one who is still at above half hit points. Bentley walks over and just hands the Pokeball he got from Ernie <laughs> to Phoebe. Ernie's Black Market Ball! <laughs> Thanks, Bentley! Yeah. As the first Pokeball bounces off of Shuckle, uh-huh. to no effect, the Shuckle just looks at you and just starts like worming its way away from you again. It's like, no! <laughs> sort of starts what about shuffling this fairy, away. buddy? You, you seem to Could she try another... Oh, okay. Can I still try another ball? Yeah. Good Should luck. I go for it? Should I go for it? Good luck. It's your call. Hopefully I'm going for it. Hopefully there's another. <laughs> go for it. 81. 81. As you throw the Pokeball towards Shuckle, uh-huh. it whips it back towards you. But it didn't break. You still have it? I don't know. It did not break. You still Pokeball never opened. You still have it. Oh, it's how just going to whip it away. How does that work? He hit it. He saw it coming and was like, no, bro. <laughs> so wait, the first one it like the first one he got he went in and broke out. The second one he saw coming. He, he is now he is now fully aware of your intention. Uh huh. It is not having it. It's okay. warming well, himself away. Well if he doesn't want to be a part of my team, I'm gonna try and catch him. We were fighting him. He's not gonna wanna be part of anyone's team. If you want him You want me to try it which again? I think it's a no, I don't think throw the Pokeball again. I think we go back into combat and try and take him out. <laughs> but that's my that's my opinion. Do what you want. If you want him on your team, that's what I would do. I mean, CJ has enough Pokemon to do it. I only have Evan Rude. If you want him on your squad, that's what I would do, but that's me. That's not you. If you guys are willing to help me, because I can't do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. Happily. Okay. I'll throw out the other two if it's necessary, but right. I think we still got it. Okay. I'm out. Yeah, he's he's done. I've got a wounded Houndor that doesn't want to battle for three days and a dead Violet. So okay. I'm, we'll rest tonight. Yeah, we'll get their health me. back. All right, let's go chase this. No, I know, but he shot. said let's not to battle with Houndor. All right, back into the initiative. Crash, get back at him! Do we have to roll for initiative again? It's the mm -hmm. same order. Okay. The shuckle, man. All right, William. You're up first. All right, William. You got a bit of a gap to close. I mean, it wouldn't be us if the quick wild attack. Pokemon battle wasn't Because he can move before attacking and close that gap. Result. So I'm going to have him do a quick attack. For somebody. Let's go! Quick attack! Duh. Oh. 
Roll the, the natural good roll one. was used on the initiative. God, I hate it. I hate as, it so as much. As William approaches, Shuckle just backhands him with a noodle and just sends him tumbling back towards you. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How far is he? He's like 25 feet away. Okay. He's not fast. Right. He's just in a hurry. Nubster. All right, Nubster. Let's try to ice beam this sucker. Beep me, boy. Oh, my God. Like, is it a fucking Jesus! Money house? <laughs> Roll two crits and then two crit fails. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh Phoebe. Oh, what do we do with you? <laughs> That's incredible. What happens? <laughs> Nothing. As Nupster attempts to go for an ice beam, he just solidifies a, like the start of a beam of ice, and it's just too hot out here, and he's too <clears throat> just too jaded from all these fighting, and it just sort of melts away. I would pay fifty of my Pokemon dollars to have you reverse your initiative. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Double ones, and then come at him with crits. All right, everybody. I know. All right, double team Jesus. wing attack at range combo. Please hit. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen, exactly. Yeah. Get him. Evan Root's got his groove back. Okay, five damage. All right. Oh, never mind. I rolled the wrong thing again. I'm an idiot. Okay. What's your damage? <laughs> Two. Never mind. What's your damage? The damage results. I'm trying to be honest here, and then it fucks me yep. over every time. <laughs> yep. It's because I keep mixing okay. up my attacks and rolling the wrong dice. It's okay. It's all good. Uh, we'll pre-roll it's okay. it, Rick. Yes. As Evan Rude comes in for another wing attack with all three of its little, little <laughs> double team illusory versions, <laughs> Shuckle's just ready. And just sees it coming, just back into the shell, feels the breeze go by, and just going uh, pass back out. Crash. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> crit. Crit. Crash. Oh, I don't have one. Okay. Uh, he's going to try to do the water thing again. Okay. It's the only way. You got it. Come on, Crash. Get it. Focus. Oh, do I get any plus for it? Constitution. Constitution. 15. 15 works. Oh. Let's go. Here we go, Crash. Come on, hit him. God. Natural one. Jesus. Oh, this is the worst. It's going to be half the session. Oh, my God. Okay. As Crash leaps up in a massive tidal Please. wave, just slams into the side of the shuckle, who does slide a little bit forward, like three feet, and then just sort of washes back in the water. Uh, Crash is just stood there like, ah! He's all proud of himself that he did it, but the water. He, then he just starts kind of like stomping around in the bubbles that he's made. That's that's fair. That's what all right. I would do. On Shuckle's turn, he's mm-hmm. gonna attempt to throw a rock at Evan Rude. Mm-hmm. Disadvantage because double team. Yes. Sixteen Sweet. and thirteen. <laughs> Everyone's looking up. <sighs> thirteen hits. Oh. Oh. Nice. Not a huge hits, just seven points of damage. <laughs> Could be way worse. <laughs> Not a huge hit, just half your home. But it was less than half the damage it could have done. Wow. Rock throw does a lot. As the boulder just collides into Evan Rude, um, the two illusory versions sort of fade for a second. Go ahead. Alright, William. William. Ten second talents. Throw some, throw some sand into his shell. Irritate him. Get it all up in there. Make it all coarse. He'll, he'll never be able to get all the sand out. So that is an unnatural one. <laughs> yeah! Sick. On the dex save. So he's a disadvantage on his next attack. Yeah! He's a disadvantage for the rest of his life. Lobster! <laughs> there's sand in there. You can't, you can't be noodly if there's sand. All right, we're going for an ice beam. Ice beam! Oh, yeah. 16. Okay. We're going for an ice beam. Hit it! Oh yeah! Thank oh God. yeah! Oh yeah! Please, double get eights, him. Get double him. eights. Get him! Get him! Get him! Double eights. That's not an eight. Be an eight. That could work. Five. Uh, Eleven. Damn it. Is that with the plus four? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Eleven total. Solid ice beam. Ah. Oh. Freezes over the shuckle. And for a minute, you're like, like, we did it. We finally did it. And he breaks back out again. That's gotta be it, though. It's gotta be. I think it's gonna be such a beast. Evan as a Rude! Team member. Come on, Evan Rude! It's gotta be it. Alright, again, activating double team going for a wing attack. 13. 
Thirteen is not enough. As the wind comes in again, even the blinded chuckle is kind of like just tucks into the shell. How does he do it? He's a weird worm. He's Where are his ears? <laughs> <laughs> It's ears. They're just little holes in the side of his beady noodle. All right, Grash. <laughs> just my new tiny. Come on, Grash. You're the only one doing anything. It's just I'm not hitting though. Also, send out your other Pokemon, CJ. What are you doing? This thing is murdering us. Uh, uh, they're moving out. They're just watching. Yeah, oh. they're they're here watching. I'm just not. They're just not playing yet. Right. Um, I feel like the only way I do enough damage to take him out is if. I do the water thing, so I gotta do the water thing. I don't think it's gonna work this time, though. I'm not feeling it. Come water on. thing! Come on. Yep. It's 18. Very good. Well, it's 20. Unnatural. Come on. Hit him, Crash. Get it. 15? You missed by one. God damn it. You're so close. God damn it. Once again, Crash just spirals forward in this massive spinning turtle head and just whacks right into the side of the shuffle, and the watery beak is like collapsing around the shuffle, and then it just sort of fades. He's killing it with this, these water attacks, though. He's doing great. With Phoebe having made a new friend, the group awaits their next adventure on the road to Zephyr.